inside the grid. It's all for sure. I didn't know. I wonder what it meant to be. If I let go and let it flow, I think there's more to see. I just need a break. I'll take what you need. I just need.
yeah. Howdy everyone. Hi. Hi Colin. Hi Happy. Uh, hi everyone else that's in chat. I don't... Um, everyone else that's in chat currently is also in, in Discord with me. Oh, hi Nick. How you doing? Uh, hi everyone. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to do a little announcement before we start uh, because we, we finally made the Patreon. Um, we were meant to make it two weeks ago. Hi. Hi bestie. <laughs> Um, bah, 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 bah. first, so yeah, I've got a few things I want to go through if I could just, uh, go through that. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we've started a Patreon, um, here's the link to that if anyone would like to, uh, pledge on it. If, uh, we've got a few, like, uh, behind the, uh, screen stuff on there, such as, like, helping in, uh, help me prep sessions, getting some art, um, and session notes and just like stuff like that and shout outs uh, everyone that subscribed also has access to the special discord um that we've made and that will basically like it doesn't include all the features but it'll include a few of the features here and there um this is weird i can't actually hear the music so like <laughs> um other than that uh yeah it's and it's it'll help us like pay for the art and just help support a few of the things we've got going and in plan. Are we supposed to see you now? Because we don't. No, 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 not yet. I'm just doing a little announcement before we get started. Um, after like I do this, I'm going to go into an ad uh, and then we're going to get started as usual. Uh, also, I want to thank everyone that subscribed um, this month. Uh, I'm going to start, be, I'll be start, I'll be doing, I'll be starting to do this. Um, during these streams and have a little scroll wheel that will mention everyone that subscribed as well. So I just want to thank Piper, which is Jacob, Pizza Pick uh, 9X, uh, Vix Draws, DM Shanks, Sign to Sam, who's also Sam, Careful Cantrip, Phalarynx, Alain Green Archer, uh, which is Georgia, Lady Q, Hadi Zabadi, The Drunken Pyro, Sir Hawk 87, and Happy Butter. Um, 
Thank you guys for supporting us. I wish I started doing this sooner, to be honest. It's popping, the music A. It is a nice playlist, yeah. Um, also, you'll see on the screen is like fan art and uh, stuff we have, like when people enter the poster competition. This is like some of the posters they made and some uh, memes they've made and other stuff. And it's so if you ever make any, uh, please share because we can add it to the wheel. It's it's really cool and it makes everyone stay. Other than that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the music back up. I'm gonna go into hiding and I'm gonna throw an ad and then we'll get started. So, see you guys then. My name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means Little Seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born the connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time, and if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there, let me introduce myself. I'm Lacerra Show and I'm a paladin in training. 
at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Bronsla. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. My first memories of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document the plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So, in exchange for work abroad was settled, and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success, until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided by I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the light of the garden slowly reach inside of me, in terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. Plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence and have it taken root inside of me grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose and to whom I owe my existence, one thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers will continue to sustain me, and I know they'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
Hi everyone. Okay. Bonsoir. Hi. <laughs> I think that counts as a fumble sound, thanks. Okay. <laughs> no. Yes. Right. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, welcome to session five. Like... <laughs> uh, thank you for. Who's back? No, we were starting. Oh. We're live, we're live. I think this is the real fun boat then. Yeah, okay. exactly, thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll gift out those points. Uh, by the way, thank you, uh, oh. Sophie and Jacob and Sam, for gifting those subs and the bits. Um, I'll add everyone's name to the scroll wheel in a hot sec hmm. after I give everyone their apples. After I scroll. I, I didn't know a scroll existed. I just wanted to give them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm trained. Let me join in. I want to support anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 it, it's, it's cool. I appreciate you guys wanting to support. Um, I don't know if everyone remembers what happened last session. We... Not a lot, to be fair. Um, back in... <laughs> Because of my internet. <laughs> we did have um, Beth revealed her spirit beast. I'm gonna mute the cable. I like there how you we paused at Beth revealed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she just revealed yeah, herself. Have gone either way. It's, it's just oh, how. I don't know. It just be how it be sometimes. Um, if I add your names there, like so. Um, but, 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 but I also wanted to say, yeah, uh, Beth revealed her uh, spirit, wildfire spirit, which is oh, a. No. What's happened? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry. What have you guys done? I just I wrote in chat like Pamera revealed her hot peacock. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember you describing it like kind of like half eagle, yeah. half peacock. Yeah. So. That's 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 it. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, and it gave everyone some frightful scenes uh, that caused um, everyone to get spooked. Yeah. I can't draw. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You guys have drawn. You guys have drawn enough. Some would argue. <laughs> I'm trying to draw someone who wants fruit. <laughs> I wrote spooky uwu, not spoofy uwu. <laughs> 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 you wrote spooky. Yeah, that was really scary. I, I didn't know what to feel about those visions. It was, um, yeah. Feelings. So where are we right now? Uh, you guys are still in the mines uh, because you didn't um, finish exploring them. But we're gonna... Oh, we got a bot. I'll get rid of them. Thank you. And yeah, we'll go. We'll Bye, bot. Big, Big follow. follows. Big follows. Big follows? Is that you? Oh, 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 just before we start, also, um, thank you for everyone who is lurking. Um, yeah. your time is valued, and, um, it's, Love. that's all, that's all we need, that's all, as long as you're enjoying yourself, like, that's, that's cool, so, thanks. Love Fight Boy would want you to like say. like the Pringle? <laughs> But maybe that's Lo-Fi Boy saying Why, that yes, we're all one you. big family. <laughs> I would love a Sorry, prank. Truth. It's okay. I'm not Pringle. So anyway, Rocky walks into a bar. Um. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Bar? All the bars? All the bars. There's five of them. The he bar. could go to all the bars. He could do a bar crawl all by himself. Is he like duplicate himself, like shut, 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 doppelgangers? Yeah. yeah. You have a stroke. I can't yeah. speak today. I actually can't speak. Holy shit. It's okay. Sorry. Pringles. Ooh. But yeah. Um, also, chat. Sorry if I don't. Um, if we don't read you, uh, we'll be typing in chat every now and then, so you we are aware. That you're enjoying the session um okay if i describe the room that you guys entered you guys after making senior visions uh so uh lacera and uh low would you both still be using skates uh the spell yes perfect um yeah if it's still active yeah 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 you've, you'd have an hour on it i'm just gonna put on the dungeon music before we uh continue oh cool dungeoning oh. time excuse me Dungeoning time. Dungeoning time. Um, 
Oh, yeah. actually, I probably wouldn't because it's concentration, and I'd rather be able to see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your your wheels have been removed. If I do this. And I do that. I was just trying to, to learn a little bit on. This is not what I wanted at all. This is too bumpy. There we are. Um, yeah, you got when entering this room you notice this uh, another like cross section. Um, like the entrance of a hallway where there's a spinning um, dais at the center that's used to like move minecarts onto different paths. You can see that on one of the walls is a glitched out section of the world weave and you can see up this pathway you can see a um, a bridge that looks to have been like there's like a hole underneath it and around it where the water's pouring in and pouring back out from the other end and then just continue as if nothing happened and you can see like just like it's glitching and like you can see the the three-dimensional world weave webs from within and it's, it's kind of wonky but like that's how it looks and you can see plunged into the middle of it is and that looks of like cut severed a few of the webs is one piece of the scissors you know it's um yeah you, uh, this little metal thing here you can also see How another bridge. How far out is it? About, I'm gonna say about six feet of it is still sticking out. It looks to be very big. It's huge from like can just I... this portion that you can see. Can I um? Can I do like a general, uh, I don't know, like perception or insight check to see if I can tell anything else? From like looking at it or? Yeah, I mean, I can walk up a little bit, but I don't want to get too close. Cause, like, yeah, sure. Uh, you can roll perception to look at it, yeah, uh, if you could. I mean, can I do a general perception check? <laughs> yeah. oh, I got a four. You got a four. <laughs> <laughs> I see diddly squat. <laughs> well, you, although like you can't tell... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the fact that you can tell it's like a piece of like a giant, you just basically see it's just this giant scissor sticking out of the um that's like being put thrown in or dropped into the um this world weave hole and you can see across the bridge there's also like rubble that's just blocking the other path it's just like the this pathway that was you guys were looking at earlier all right um lo as you have your dancing light like wash fly over it you can see that like your um your fire like glitches as it passes by yeah. passes the world weave does it stay glitch like yeah, when it's out of it? Or... Only as it passes. Can I, let's say, try to do like a more effort very check? Yeah, you can. You, you you can. You you begin to start cringing as you normally do around the world weave because uh, being a tiefling. Um, to those that aren't haven't have just arrived, uh, that feeling is almost like a bone that's been exposed and is just feeling. Like the air is tingling at it, and it's a very cringing, wincing sensation. Um, but yeah, if you want to roll perception as well for me, Lucera. Yeah, you roll that. The world leaves. The world leaves. Just. Mm. Uh, uh, where's perception? It'll be in your skill box okay. on the. Oh, yes, <laughs> just you deduce <laughs> even less. You just know. Oh. You see. The scissors that looks to be just plopped in the middle, standing upright. Nothing, nothing special about it, other than the fact it's a big scissors stuck She's in the wall. It's not gonna want to get close to. Yeah, it, you. you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, out of like just like apprehension, you don't want to go near it. While low, when you, <laughs> <laughs> while your your dancing light passed over the uh, uh, that um, the scissors, you could see that it had some like runes written over the ring portion. Um, do you, are you, what languages does Lo speak? She speaks, uh, modern Sheen, ancient Sheen, Bukharan, and Halagi. Halagis. Um, none of those languages, uh, you know, it's, uh, any of the runes. What, sorry? Are the runes, uh, uh, mm, mm. wait, okay. let me just... I mean, only Lo can see them, right? I mean, if like Lo yeah, points yeah, them yeah. out, she can like she'll be able to like you guys can all yeah, yeah, notice I'll, them. Oh, point them out to everyone. Uh, 
I'm primarily gonna look at this, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Perhaps I can read it for you? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you than I think me. the playlist Thank is actually you. glitched out, so I'm gonna okay, fix that. Okay, that's a little rude, but alright. <laughs> I just don't want to get close, you know? Okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, what am, what am I, what, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Well, as there you... is some rooms on the. Uh, uh, I can't read them, but I'm not sure what uh, they're written in. I speak modern Shian, Bakuran, Berries, ancient Shian, Druidic. Like, I don't... do you need any of those? None of those. Mean? None of those cover it. Um, okay. Lucera, well, um... if you're concentrating on it though, you can read it. Can I? Yeah, it's very roughly translatable into Weaven. Like you can, you notice the letters look similar to the lang language of the Tieflings. Is it? Hang is it an sec. impression in the rock? Yeah, it's been cut. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's. So what if I? It's cut uh, into the steel. It isn't. Um, it isn't a rock. It's steel. Oh, okay. So what if I put a piece of paper over it, and like run my ink over and then bring it to her so she doesn't have to get close would that work yeah it'd work yeah great i'm gonna do that <laughs> as you it be hard to get there? <laughs> <laughs> as you see Pimera step oh uh, is Pimera just walking forward normally as she normally would yeah. Pimera, are you sure you see Pimera yeah. begin to glitch as she's oh walking. god, <laughs> Pimera, you <laughs> don't feel <laughs> any. There's nothing wrong with you. You just like, you feel as if like you're walking for a while though, and like you feel like bits and bits, bits and pieces are moving. More uh, floor is coming in front of you, disappearing, and it's it's a very weird, just. This is funky, Mister Stark. <laughs> yes, it is very funky. Okay, I mean, you guys see Pimera glitching, and eventually she looks as if she's fell through the floor, uh, but Primera... and starts like, and then she looks like she's uh, falling from the sky, and it's like she's just looping up and down as she's still walking forward. It's as if she's glitched into the matrix oh, right uh, now. Uh, uh, are you alright, Primera? Can you yes. still hear us? Yes, uh, yes, of course. You hear her voice up, come from here, from this uh, uh, hall over here. Um, but Pimera, you are able to reach the um, the big scissors, and you can um, run some ink over it or um, some chalk or such to get an impression of the runes if you'd like. Yeah, I wanted to do that. No worries. I won't ask you to to roll anything for that, and you're able to get just mimic those um, those notes. Okay, here I have them for you. You can read now, yes. Mm -hmm. As she comes across, like she begins to uh, form as if form normally again. And when she hands the note to you, Lacera, you see these words. Uh, I put it in chat in. Um... Bill, 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 It roughly translates to snipper. Like, don't snip me. I we've been in a dungeon for a while. So they okay. wrote scissors on the scissors? So it means said scissors, snipper, mm -hmm. translates to snip. Yeah, I'll add that when oh, uh, Pimer... Okay, when... that's not what I want. <laughs> snipper. When you... <laughs> when you were near it by the uh, Pimer, I should have mentioned, sorry, you did feel like they glowed a bit, and like they, you felt a magical aura coming off the, um, off the scissors. That was mm -hmm. unique to it and not the, uh, the world weave. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. I thought this uh, stuff, guys. It's um, yes. Oh, sorry. It felt a little funky, and the scissors were a little glowy. You know. I mean, it's you were really stuff? funky. <laughs> you were um, I, I don't know how to say it in words. Um, very glitchy. Yeah, that be was... a word you know. Yeah. Did not feel glitchy. It looked very glitchy. Your voice came from over there. <laughs> oh, that's weird. No, I, everything was cool and chill with me. It, I mean, it, the sky was doing some weird stuff, but like... Can we try to pull it out? Yeah, you could try it. Oh, you want me to go back in again? I can do it again. I, I, uh, maybe, I, I... do you want, would it make you feel better if you tied the rope around me first? Yes. Oh, I'll okay. tie a yeah. rope. I'm not getting close, but I'll tie a rope. I would offer to let you hold my tail, but that's 
it's my personal tail, and I don't really want to stand. I don't think I can get that close. That's fine. You'd be able to stand within five feet, uh, Lucera, without like it being too. I mean, unbearable. I'm I'm over six foot tall, and my tail is the same length as I am, so technically it's whatever. Anyway, rope is fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a rope. Yeah, whoever wants to tie the rope, roll slight of hand for me. I'm, I'm very confused. I want to tie the rope, but I don't know if I have one. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what do we slight of hand, you said? Yeah. Uh... Can't I... Yeah. It'll be at the um, bottom, it'll be near stealth, um, of, oh, like where perception will well. be. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, it's not too bad. Lucera starts uh, trying to tie a rope around. Was it your waist or were you tying the rope? My waist. Um, yeah. She's going to tie around her waist. Mm-hmm. As you start tying she's around Pamela's waist, you begin to start tickling her by accident. And you're Wait, fumbling with the rope because um, like, you're cringing from the, uh, the world of like, presence. No, please. <laughs> you pet with the brain. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm tying it to you and to me so I can hold, um, keep hold, keep you from falling or something. Um, uh, maybe my help. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, how about Someone the lasso man? That, you could do that, right? <laughs> You've not seen the ribbons I'm, I'm wearing. What, what did they tickle you when you put them on? <laughs> yes. Well, like well I don't like uh, Roll a slight hand for me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky tries helping get, get here and then both of you start tickling her now I would like to try and help but then Lowe's little tiny baby hands come in and then just <laughs> she effortlessly, effortlessly ties while Pimera and, and uh, I mean while Lucera and Rocky are tickling Pimera <laughs> oh please <laughs> there we go Did no one ever teach you how to pet a cat what's wrong with you <laughs> I'm afraid Just because I'm tired you. now does not mean I won't stick my little fangs in your arm, okay? Camera, would you hide me over the, the part that isn't attached to you, just so that I can try to pull with you? Yeah, sure, here go. I Thank you. you. <laughs> Are we going to tie the rope to uh, Lo-Fi as well? Uh, it can be only uh, tied around one person, unless like you want to tie it to each other. Alright, well, I think um, Lucera is just going to make sure it, she's like the anchor, so I'm, um, yeah. I'm going to stay as the anchor, guys. You guys mm -hmm. can go on ahead, but I'm staying here, Lo, you're staying here with me. If that's okay. okay. I'm not support. particularly strong, so I shall stay. Just away from the world, please. I mean, that's a little demanding. What okay. girl do you want to stay? She's just that's okay. I'm I'm not very strong, so I'm not sure how much help I would be. You're much stronger than I am. I don't mind. I mean, cats have claws, right? Um, yes, I do. Would so... you like to stay down? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. If you're ready, Primera, I'll be following right behind you. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, you two, I've got your back. Just don't worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> so you said that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Walking into the thing. Goodbye. Well, you guys see when Lofi, were you stepping on too? Uh, yeah. I, yeah, to to hold the rope behind mm -hmm. and help um yeah. holding the thing. Well, Lofi's attached it to herself, just so you know. Yeah. Um, Pimera, oh. the same exact effect happens to Pimera. The rope doesn't look like it's changing between your hands but like mm -hmm. when like when you look at primary you just see the ropes just going everywhere it's as if like it doesn't know where it's anchored to and physics has broken in front of you with the way it's can just you moving feel it can i no can it's, I it's perfectly fine it yeah you can just yeah. to see if primary reacts to me pulling the rope mm -hmm. you just you just a little, 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 little tug okay yeah you um yeah. primary you feel a tug uh from behind you on the rope what was the yanking <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I, I just wanted to make sure it worked. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Can, like, low, uh, like, do you see it? Because uh, you look really weird. Do you, don't I, do I look weird to you? Right when, you now? when you do look at Lo Fi Boy, he kind of does look a bit glitchy on the side that's closest to the bottom. He looks bottom. a little weird. He looks a little short. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I think you are a very nice size robot boy. But... Well, he does look glitch in size here and you there. You look a little funky. 
Uh, see, that's what we were trying to... Well, now you get it. Yes, I understand. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> so, the thing... Um, let's try to get the slipper thing, I, I, I guess. Okay. Do you want, should I just grab them? I, I mean... I'm not really sure what you want. Mean to do yeah, it. just grab... I want to try to pull it, see what happens when we... Okay, sure. Uh, I'm gonna reach out and try to grab the scissors. Mm -hmm. When you grab onto the handle, could you roll strength for me as you try to pull it out? I, I'm, I'm helping, I think, to try to pull the rope with Chimera. You, I would say you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to hold the scissors to help. <laughs> it's really heavy, guys! It is <laughs> a very, a little. <laughs> it is a very hefty uh, bit of scissors, and it's like, it's like, it's it, like, when you try and hold it, like, you feel as if you pushed it in a bit more, actually. Uh, and when that happens, it sounds like torn paper amongst, like, uh, glitching, like, uh, static. Um, guys, I think I fucked something up. <laughs> it, I tried to pull it, and it's really heavy and, like, weirdly slippery for some reason, and it, like, moved, and then there was, like, a ripping sound, like, when you cut paper. That's uh, odd. Or Which like angle rip, are you pulling you know, it like, from? Like if you bend over and your your pants split, kind of one of those things. Uh, Chimera, Chimera, watch yes. where you're pulling it. You don't want it to pull it like a pair of scissors. You want to pull it like it's a dagger or a sword. We don't want to well, cut I, anything. Okay, well there's only one handle piece, but the, I, it's really <laughs> heavy. <laughs> it is very heavy. Um, can I, can like, I give her a hand. try? Yeah. I, yeah, if what if I if I hold on to it, like can I grapple it and then have them pull me out? We could tie the rope around it if you could do that. Yeah, try. Then, okay, I mean I have to untie it from me, but I could do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, just Ready? hold hold hold, it, hold 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 the end of the rope whilst you're doing that. Um. <laughs> Like, are you, are you guys trying to, like, okay. is Pimera trying to, like, I'm gonna, just... I'm gonna wrap it around my arm once, yeah. and then, like, completely let go of it. <laughs> and tie it on the scissors. <laughs> okay. Like, I have to use both my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm grumpy, guys. I just... Yeah, I've been in trouble. You, you didn't... Sorry, you... I set everyone on fire, and now I'm worried. One night me anymore. You set me into this weird glitchy whole space. <laughs> <laughs> when you look down, Pimer, it does look like you're looking into, like, a depthless floor. Oh, no. Now I'm not in the floor anymore. No, but you're, you're, like, you're still standing. It's just, like, looking down is oh, weird. No, you know. Leave it's just going to be like, bye, you're, doing, you're doing great, Pimera. Keep going. Yeah, if... if so when... when you look down. Pimera, if you want to like uh, wrap yourself onto the scissors and everyone together roll a strength check for me. Okay. Oh no, I'm trying to hold on, but they're really slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there isn't any. There's not much grip other than the hook and the handle. It's okay. I'll just I'll hold on to the rope too. You know, like yeah. if I get stuck, I just walk back out. It's fine. Mm. It's all in my mind. I feel solid. Everything feels solid. Amira, I got some catnip for you if you make it safely. That is no. a mean stereotype and hurtful. No way. I'm to do drugs. <laughs> Mr. Mr. No Fly Boy, could you hold on to it? And hold it? Okay. Mr. Lo-Fi Boy. Okay, I'm going to help untie, um, I guess, Pimera or tie her up. I thought like yeah, like she's getting tied to the sword, and then you guys are all pulling the rope. No, who okay. can't? We're gonna, we're gonna split her in two if we do that. No, she's holding on to it. It's so, like you tie it around the sword on her. Yeah, tie it around the sword, and then like. Pull or scissors, it. sorry. Scissors. And like the, 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 yeah, scissors, sorry. To I don't get know why you're arguing. I already did it. I tied it. And then just yeah. Pimera's already. Glitch, I can't see properly. Is yeah. it tied around the the thing or not right now? Yeah, it's perfect. Yes, it's I'm an expert in knotting. I I, okay, I will I'll add. You guys see Pimera just like glitching everywhere. You. <laughs> <laughs> you feel Pimera. You know you're on on the hit on the sword, but to them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to pull you then, since you're tied. Correct. Wait, can, we, 
but hold on, can we backtrack for a second? Why do you think you're going to pull me in half? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Yeah, throw one, throw one once a roll strength for me. I strength. It'll be, it's the first one on the left. Top left, first thing. All of us? Oh, yeah, everyone, everyone that's pulling on Pymer and the sword. Oh, oh, oh wow. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, My rules have, have been a little rocky today if I just just well, maybe you just catch it down. <laughs> like, like Rocky, your 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 hands, if they could sweat they are standing next to the firebird and you just like they just slip out of your fingers. It, there's not a lot of grip on your smooth rock hands. Rocky is terrified of the flaming bird right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> While, and Lo-Fi Boy, you've also, like, you're you're very confused. Like, you're trying to pull, but you don't know which way you're pulling and pulling because of the weird glitch. Uh -huh. um, but Lo and Lucero, Lo, you're, you're pulling as hard as you can, although you're a child and you don't exactly have enough strength for I'm this. I'm just small team. Yeah. <laughs> you... the end, I incur for every terrible team in, in, in the... <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Took a ball. Mm. Well, yeah, like no, like uh, let's, let's say you see Lo getting like pulled in almost. Uh, she's trying to pull, and like she's using all the strength she can. Lo, um, get behind me! But as you say that, you pull, and Pymer, you feel you go on a slant, and Lo Fibre, you also feel a sudden force uh, run through your hands. You don't know which direction it's going, but it's running through your hands as you hear the sound of. Oh, it was this weird sound effect, I think. Um, guys, the ground is doing some weird stuff. No, uh, Jake, well, I'll fix it. Um, if I do this. Yeah, you hear the sound uh, become... Um, you hear, like, the tearing of paper and the glitching static effect again. As you see the um, Lucero, Rocky, and Low, you guys can see the sword slipping out of the ground and being pulled towards you. Scissors? Scissors, yeah, sorry. Or scissor. That's a scissor. Yeah. Uh, I think we can start moving away from this now. And then yeah, you guys can come back over here. Suddenly, Pymera. Pymera, make your way. Yeah, you guys have loosened it enough to like it, like it's fully come out, and it makes the. It sounds almost like um like yeah, just a paper's just been torn. As you can see, its handle now is over here, and Pymera, you're just like on the floor. Everyone else can see, like, half her body's on the floor in front of you guys, the other half's on the other side of the bridge. She's been torn in half, visually. She hit the floor, she but hit Pimera. the floor. Pimera? What? Uh, Pimera? Yes? Pimera, what's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me, what's wrong so with she, you? She's edging near the bird at um, the Africa. Mm. Uh, Pimera, the, you, you, you seeing, um, uh, am I the only one who's seeing this? Yeah, Pimera looks like she's... Pretty. The only one who's seeing what? Like, at uh, this time, you kind of look like half of you is missing. Oh, well, that's not correct. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Primary, primary. Maybe you Come should on. just close your eyes and pull. <laughs> It's already been pulled out. Um, uh, you've noticed it. Oh. You, can, you can see. Oh, I can come so, out now? Is that you, what you're saying? You can come out. Okay, yeah. I would like to come out now. I'm gonna delete it, because like, it's a really awkward looking like image. I made it. See, look, I am... Tall, tall, gorgeous, and exquisitely groomed, beautiful for Chimera. Yeah, you're one of those. Hey! Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys can see. Um, uh, we'll call this Snipper um, or Bill Ray, whatever you prefer. Uh, just on the floor in front of you guys, the hoop uh, hand part of the handle is just sticking out of the world weave, and you guys can read. Per well, Lacero, you can read perfectly that that says. Bill Ray's slash Snipper in World Weaven. Or translate translation say? Snipper. What, what, does it, what does it say? Can, like, pi um, can Lacera try to pull it a bit further towards um, like the open area? You can, yeah. I'll, I'll, if you could roll for me a strength check again. Cool. Please. Lacera. What did I do? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> You got an 18, yeah? No, you guys just see Lacera pick it up like it's nothing. And she just pulls it out. She's kind of struggling. You see a wince as she's like feeling that just uncomfort. 
but then she just pulls out of the world and you guys see her holding this huge ass half of a scissor if i pull the description for you guys if i um yeah it's just like it's just a simple looking um so it's just like the one from the mold that you guys remember finding earlier the one up here yeah <gasps> I'm for a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and like it's huge. It's roughly like if I find I wrote down how big it is, but I've lost it. Apparently, I think it was ten feet or something. No, the the what was sticking out was roughly ten feet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically a huge anime scissor sword you've got in your hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that's the definition. Okay. Yeah, and like as you hold it in your hand, you can tell there's something very weird about it as it just oozes magic and like it's like it, like radiation almost is the way i describe it as you hold well it in your we hand. found the scissors do you think we should close the hole uh how do we can... close it though i don't know uh, anybody <laughs> got uh like a mending spell maybe i don't know I, mean, I, have I, no I have mending, but I don't know if it'll fix the world. Weave. She kind of looks at Lucera because <laughs> Lucera loses the most about the world. <laughs> yeah, there's probably swords. more than like a foot hole. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, hang a second. Could I? Could I, I roll for insight? Insight? Yeah, you could if you'd like. Now, oh, by the way, you've now um, I've added in your inventory. Um, Snipper. Uh, so far. Out of curiosity, how are we supposed to carry that? That is not going to be <laughs> in my bag of holding. <laughs> Sophie's able to hold it without much trouble. I've added it to your damage as well. Hello? That's right, you just, I didn't hear anything you said. Oh, yeah. just... I Sorry. to deafen myself for a moment. What happened? No, I just said, uh, Sophie, I've added Snipper to your inventory. And yeah, if uh, Sophie, you want to roll insight for me. I... Am I holding it like uh, like right like right next to my scythe? Because it's pretty much longer than that, but still not. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you could hold it. Like, if you put, like, you could hold it as if, like, behind your back, as if, like, it's two scissors, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah you... I could do that. Um, sorry. With uh, your inventory, like... Well, yeah. we'll get this out of the way now, I think, because it's this is a this is a situation. If like something's huge and like you're worrying about carry space, I'm gonna say mm. don't worry about it. It you just have it on your person. Uh, it's you got a little special power to hold everything. You oh, we don't worry about encumbrance or like size and stuff like that. So if you ever want to pull out the bill rays uh, or snippers, you can just like pull it out of this little pouch. And this goes for everyone else. So like with their items they carry. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I would like to have her hold it half on the outside. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, you could have it like just sticking out of your pouch if you'd like. Yeah. And pop it on like your. Just... Yeah. 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 Um... <laughs> yeah. If you wanna, if what did you roll on your insight, uh, Sophie? Sorry, Lucera. In six. Well, you. Other than like the information you generally know about the world, we've been like this, like. Almost like um, where you know, like you know, the Kirin come from this, and like you are almost Kirin born by na uh, by being a tiefling. You have no clue on how you could mend this hole in the world weave. You do notice that where the scissors scissor part was, you notice there's a huge gash in the webs, and like they have like fallen off and slanted into the depths, or the endless depths. Sorry. If that makes sense. Right, the sharp bit where it would cut. Yeah, where 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 it was planted into the world weave, that's wherever like webs were, it's cut. Severed those ties. Mm. Mm. Like, so like, Stop the world weave or started it. If only yeah, it's only just like cut into it. It's not actually like fixed it or like put bits together. It's only just made potentially a a, a more problematic hole with no webbing to protect you guys if you were to step on what would happen if um we were to step into the world weave you could try i don't know can I... Can I good stuff. do not do that do not oh, do that okay. i don't think that's a good idea lo when you send in your dancing light to go over you guys see it glitching a lot more heavy heavily and it's almost like it becomes a lot more corrupted 
and you can see it just going lower and lower in as it draws closer to the center as if it's being pulled by something that is unseen can you make I... it go into it little nico sure i'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Once, like you, it touches these, uh, the touches uh, the world weave at the lowest point. The moment, like it crosses over the threshold, all light disappears for you, Lo. Your dancing light has disappeared, and you can't oh, see. I'm blind. Hang on. <laughs> you can't see it anymore. I need to summon a light again. I was about to say, maybe bring it out. <laughs> it's no, okay. The, the I moment, have another one. Like the literal <laughs> moment it crossed the threshold, it just disappeared, as if it was pulled in. Uh, but you hear her jingle with her bells and. Another dancing light appears next to her. Um, Pimera, could you? I, I mean, I know you're, you you're like your friend. I'll fly. <laughs> no, 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 your friend, your, your bird. Your bird. I, what was her name? I forgot. Um, Queen. Her name is Queen. Could Queen maybe try to go there? Uh, I mean, you can yeah, resummon yeah. Queen from anywhere, right? Uh, she's an elemental. So, I don't know if sending her through the break in the I'm... space-time continuum would be a good idea. I'm not sure well, we should if... send anything living down there. It's it's different between Queen and just my dancing light. I agree you know, with um, can I Can I ask Queen if she feels weird around it? Mm -hmm. Well, when she gets in the close to it, you do know she's glitching and she does nod at you slightly. Just like a, just a, just a faint nod. Just a faint nod. Like, you, can, like she can feel it, right? Yeah, she feels like it's it's weird on her when she stands near it or sits okay. near it. Yeah, she says she doesn't like it, so that's a solid no for her. Okay. I mean, um, I'll do it if you want me to do it. No, no, no. Come on. I think we should stay away. Can we do one more thing? I have an idea. How many more times can you summon your dancing light, Lo? As many times as I want. Okay, um, so if we bring that dancing light down the same area, however, let's try and pull it out rather than push it further, because um, it looked like something, it got more intense, and then see if it is still affected when it comes out. Yeah. If you can control it. Sure, I will try to do that. If I just, like, put it mm -hmm. over it to where it's like being pulled in and then bring it back out again yeah, yeah. It's... well when it gets closer to the center you feel that in that pulling sensation again and it grows more intense as time goes on and the glitching effect on your fire becomes a lot more distorted okay we need to start pulling it out now um as you tried to pull it out it did become a lot more intense the further it went away again like as if like the more prolonged contact with it the more corrupt it became and you do notice when your fire came out, it looked very glitched, and it stayed glitchy, and it would constantly glitch mm -hmm. in place. I don't think we should go in there. Yeah, this this dancing light in front of like that low has here. This is glitching it's constantly, even outside of the world weave. Oh, that doesn't look okay. Good. Also, welcome raiders. Um... Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh. oh. hi, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, guys. Um, Lady Q, wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Q. <laughs> oh, talking about cutting it, they just pulled out a giant piece of the scissors. Why don't we see the two much? Oh, that's, that's a wonderful oh, file. Very exciting. Um, we're just uh, in an hour into session uh, five. Um, and yeah, they've just pulled out a giant scissor out of the floor. And seen a glitching bit of fire or dancing fire yeah if you guys want to continue um i'll just dismiss the glitchy um dancing light and like summon a new one <laughs> yeah uh, when you uh, when you send it away it disappears and no more and then when you when you call for another one that becomes normal again and we won't need to change the token Sorry, I might have drawn little glitchy things. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we found the scissors, so... Okay. Oh, what? We can't, we can't cross that area. I think that's a, a no-go for now. 
Oh, um, what if we... Sh we should throw something in it that's not magic. But, uh... But so won't it just disappear down? I mean... Oh. Like the rope? But uh, I, I don't feel comfortable messing with this. What if it's... What if... Remember the, the Shibitai yokai saying that they had interacted with the, the, the glitchy things like this and have be and became corrupted i i don't want to face any risk into becoming corrupted myself 10 a I do. could you roll a perception check for me yeah, Wait, cool. I don't know, that's a solid thing to be concerned about Perception. Sixteen. Just as the just a time amongst the commotion of you guys discussing and the water that you can hear running, you hear a snag as if like something that's been pulled tight has just broken from behind you. No, no, just just ten eighty with how close he is to the world weave. Uh... I don't know if you guys heard that. There was this like snapping sounds. Oh, well, that's weird. Hmm. Um, um, um. Looking at the world, you notice it kind of glitches. A, a few pixels um, closer, closer towards you. Um, guys, what if um? I did, okay, I'll speak quickly. But um, what if? The scissor was actually holding the hole, and now nothing is holding it, and it gets bigger, and we get sucked in. I'm not I'm not saying. I I just I just uh, I, back I, away, I, maybe? I yeah okay let's go okay, please back, I don't want to shove away, you guys no what do you mean? I'm actually shoving like Chimera now because she's in the way she hasn't moved. Okay. I'm <laughs> okay, just let's. I don't. I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to stay Rocky, here. I'm moving. Rocky, Rocky don't go that way. <laughs> can I just uh, touch, see if I can feel it like yeah, yeah. Coming, coming further? Yeah, you can like, see. Do I feel it? You yeah, it, the the uncomfortable feeling from instead of being five feet anymore, now it's ten feet, and the closer you are, it becomes mm. a lot more intense. Is it just from that area, not the other one? No, just that one. It's can like... I shoot an arrow into it? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I take out my bow and arrow and just shoot it. Not like anything fancy. Yeah, just yeah, nothing. Yeah, general in there. When you see the arrow cross the threshold of the world, we it just disappears. Hmm. And just... I lost an arrow, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, don't green, worry, you damage whatever green. enemies on the other side. Does like the green and red glitchy bit get bigger, or is it just like the rip in the center that's getting bigger? Uh, yeah, it's just getting bigger, like um, from that sound level one rip. It's like just on the outside. Oh, yeah. It's stretching out. The outside. Is the yeah. inside also getting bigger or is it just the outside? Yeah, the glitchy portion of the outside is still spreading and the hole is becoming bigger. Uh, how the... do we get that to stop? So it's just uh, like the outside glitchy green bit that's getting bigger. It's not like no, 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 void. The, the void is, is becoming void? bigger as well. Oh. Sorry, um... sorry for the making it clear on me. <laughs> Um, so, um, I don't remember, um, this wasn't the way, right? But, uh, was there anything he, I don't, uh, where are we going? Uh, what are we going? In, in 1080's panic, you stumble into a bedroom, or what looks like a bedroom, and it smells heavily of shibat and sweat from within. Oh, great, more nasty stuff. Nothing's well, in there, okay. there doesn't be anything in there. Uh, I think maybe, uh, is it, is it this way? Uh, I'm not too. Don't feel too good about leaving it, to be honest. I, I mean, want unless to see you if want to buy something. Is there only thing I... my spells? Can we put the scissor back in there? No, I'm not. No, no, that's too dangerous. Then, right. then I don't think there's anything we can do, Lacera. Like, I think it's too dangerous. Can I cross this bridge right here? Yeah, you can cross that bridge. Uh, you just see just a bunch of rubble, uh, blocking your way further. My brothers, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know what um, spell this is. Oh, what spell do you do? Uh, smearing Smite. Um, that is an, uh, an attacking spell. You could try and attack the World Weave if you'd like. I was just wondering if I could try to like attack it from like a long range. Well, I mean, we lost the arrow, so... 
I mean, be... if it was magic into it or something, I don't yeah. know. Well, that one's from it yourself. Felt like it'd be bigger. So, uh, that, yeah. like, you'd have to cast it off yourself. So, like, do you have any ranged yeah. spells? Uh, I'll check. Uh, I'll check I only have a ranged weapon. Yeah, no, then you wouldn't be able to cast any spells unless you got closer to it. Unless I got what, sorry? Closer to it. Uh, would I have to, like, stick it in or something? Yeah. How, how would I do that? Would it be, like, on my sword or. It could be on your sword, it could be on um, on the new I have scissor. A long bow. I have a longbow in my inventory. Let me, let me see how. Let me let me have a little read to you. I think it says it shows, yeah. Oh, this is. um. No, it's compelled duel. Why is it giving me compelled duel? Um, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you just start fighting the world weave. <laughs> Fucking throw <laughs> hands. Smash music for it. It's very smart. The next time you hit. Uh, the next time you hit a creature. Um, ba 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 ba. Yeah, it'd oh, basically no. be as if like you set it on fire. But you'd have to hit it to set it on fire. So I have no actual... Um, yeah, no. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to do anything of that nature. Um, so are you done with your family reunion, Rocky? <laughs> yeah, I'm over here. I'm, re I'm ready to go. I'm... <laughs> okay. Um... I guess that's, um, we can keep moving then. Actually, well, Sarah decides, um, so you said you found a bedroom here, right? Yeah, that's a bedroom. Uh, yeah. Is anything light enough that she can pick up? Yeah, it's just like, the, the beds are like, just like, uh, pillows, I mean, not pillows, sorry. Like, but, like leaves they're, and they're hay. they're pretty big, but they're all light, aren't they? Yeah, extremely light, yeah. So she can, uh, she's gonna try and grab one and see if she can try and throw it towards it, but not, yeah, sure. like, get that close. I'll, I'll let you, uh... I'll let you pick up a ten bed. Ten feet-ish? What was ten feet? Ten feet is five square, so about there it would be safe. But Sarah, if, what are you doing? If you're all strength for me. If you're all strength for me. Nineteen. As you as it crosses about um about here, you notice it doesn't even hit the floor before it just gets pulled in and disappears. And you um, notice the pixels getting... Yeah, it's getting much bigger and the pixels are about here ish. There. Okay. Okay, we can go. So, we <laughs> didn't it. jump in that. Don't Rocky. jump in that! Rocky, wait! Come back, come back, wait, I'm wait, not wait, jumping wait. it. Get out, get out, get out. I'm leaving. Where are we headed? This way. We're just, I think we're just All leaving. All the water, it'll lead us out of the cave. There's water over there, I'm assuming it's going this way. Ugh. What is this? That's can a I pass this? Yeah, you can I'm pass it. That's just a that's just a pooey <laughs> dagger that Lucero once owned. <laughs> oh hey! And oh. You... Wait, can, can Lucero just like drive by the Merrick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey everybody! <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait, How's it wait, going, you kiddo? Know? I wouldn't hang out in this area anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you see the children you rescued, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get this some music going. If, uh, How can we be so sure that it's not going to continue expanding for a long time? Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, just kind of go until it eats itself, but that's fine. Uh, I'll figure that out later. What about the nearby okay. monasteries? Um, so, let's, okay, here's the thing, with Sarah. Either we live to to figure that problem out later, or or, or we don't. So oh, I'm gonna have choose. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have a bag of holding? We have a bag of holding, right? Nope. No, no that's just that's just me just saying like your inventory is like boundless. What if we go buy one and then flip it inside <laughs> out and throw it into the hole? Bag of holding. I feel like that might cause a bigger issue. <laughs> did it look like like was it just getting bigger or did it look like when we put stuff in it it got bigger? It was just getting bigger. It was okay. just getting bigger. Uh, okay, also, children, whilst um, when, let's go. when you guys step out of the um, out of the uh, the mind, it's uh, roughly about midday. You you would say maybe two p.m. You see Kiko, just she looks like she's not sad anymore. She's just whirling around. You see the other children also skating around after she successfully okay. taught them the wheel spell. Go carry the Shabbat and just like watching over them and then just turn. Skating on the sand? No, they they made like uh, spells called wheels. Okay. <laughs> And they see the children. <laughs> the children see you and rush, rush over. And so does Gokeri. But Kiko is looks at ten eighty. 
And then what does she do? What does she do? Huh? She, just, she, huh? just, she just rushes over and stands mm. near low. Does she kick it? Uh, no, no. She just, she just, she just can side side eyes uh, Tenati. Hadi, uh, Hadi's given ninety five uh, hearts to you, Rocky. By the way, how are you taking that, Rocky? Ninety five bits. This is for Rocky. You. Yeah. Uh, Very sweet. Why is she doing Run that? Up, she she tried to give the the <laughs> what are you, you got 95 uh, bits. Did. Yeah, what do I get them for? What do I do with them? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you can hold them. Yeah. Really excited. <laughs> they get converted into copper. I, I start, I start, uh, no, I start no. throwing them at Pymira. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, actually, no, you know what, actually, I'll, I'll make it gold. I don't here. actually. Yeah, okay, you can have 95 gold. Thanks, Addy. A spirit has, gra a spirit has oh. granted you 95 oh. gold. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I feel offended. <laughs> um, I give, I give five gold. Actually, not right now. I'll deal with it later. Right now, we're running away with children. I'll, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go, go back to the temple, everyone. Come on, let's go. Yeah, and let's forget we're going here, but... don't ever come back. Uh, can, can, can oh, the just, like, pull the Shibatan guy around? Oh, no, he'll follow you. He'll happily follow no, you. Like, no, no, like... no, no, to the side, like, to talk to him. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, he... So, come, come, come here, come here. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, Matt, so, how can I help? What was the deal with the scissors, huh? Well, I... There were scissors... I, in I, the cave. I wouldn't know. I they locked me up. Are you sure? You saw me in this. You saw me in the jail. But have you not once seen any big mold or scissors or stonework? And oh my god, get us out of here! <laughs> Never. I've, I've seen. I've seen nothing. But he. He seeing you rush away. He follows. Follows you rush. <laughs> seeing as like, if you're agitated, he should be also. <laughs> What are you doing? He's gonna be terrified. It is. Oh, that's not me drawing that. Whoever's drawing the green is so annoying. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm if you, so numb. if you guys uh, continue uh, through the forest back to the temple, following the path you guys took. Um, um, where are we going? Back to the temple. I take it. To okay. Thank you, babe. <laughs> 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 you know, it's it's not to cause any problems or anything, but are we just gonna leave it like that? <laughs> I mean, I trust you. I just, you know. Oh, the sense of beauty has like failed me. We're just leaving this. Go carry the structure shoulders. I, I, I don't know what to do. Kiko says, "What, what have you guys done?" As she's offering gum to Lo. No, no it's gonna, gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> this this helps me feel better sometimes, she says. Oh, she said, Thank you. I think I need all it. of you giving people drugs. <laughs> it's not drugs, it's gum. It's not why we're here. She says to you angrily. It's gum. I don't do drugs. I'm only fourteen. Uh that doesn't mean anything to me, little girl. On primary, don't say that to her. <laughs> she just gives um, you uh, it, an it ugly look as well. Look, she's giving you a sedative. And we're just not gonna talk about it? It's, oh. it's catnip sedative? I don't do catnip! <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys walking away as you like are arguing this stuff? Yeah. Lo's yeah. been like just walking for a long time. She's just yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. everyone. <laughs> um, My oh. body is a temple! <laughs> Speaking who, of temple, who is going to take care of the so. library if I overdose on caffeine and catnip? Huh? Just Pymera at the back no shouting. One. <laughs> <laughs> no one, uh, that's who. Can I try your gum, Kiko? Wow, okay. She looks okay. at you. <laughs> she just, she just looks up to you and, and she looks at Lo. No, Lo gives her like a little nod, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's have the little girl look at a slightly larger little girl for approval. We've had this discussion before, but I understand how you're feeling. Um, maybe Kiko does could... give you a bear gum, by the way. Okay, thanks. I don't think I can taste it though, so it's pomegranate flavor. Here, 
No. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I'll come to your peer pressure. No. Um, what about you, Queen? Would you like some gum, <laughs> maybe? Don't be trying to push your shit on my baby. <laughs> she she like, just says quen. gum into Queen's mouth. As no. I'm saying <laughs> Quen. And just stick her back into my body. Quen, but she starts uh, chewing on it. And as she, as happens, you just see her just into nothing as she disappears into Pimera's feathers. Wait, what? <laughs> Pimera brought her back. Oh, okay. You see the gum that like was chewed drops to the floor. <laughs> I, I don't guess I grab it. I stick it to the paper that I ripped from the origami we did mm -hmm. um, at the top of the thing. Yeah. Like in the head of the little person paper I had. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, you recycling. Well, not recycling. Making making sure it's a safe environment. Okay. But yeah. Um... It's a future scrapbook. I'm not talking to anyone oh. about. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a scrapbook. <laughs> <laughs> There's no book. It's just scraps right now. Yeah. You can tell me lots that. Of, lots of rats in there. Oh, well, there would be rats here. Yeah. But yeah. Um, while you guys are making your way, Kiko just skates alongside you, love. And then she asks you, have you heard of a band called Spectacles of Tomorrow? A what? Spectacles of Tomorrow. Spectacles of Tomorrow? What's yeah. that? They're a band. There's, there's four of them. I don't know all their names because uh, they're new. Um, uh, but like their first album's really good. Um, but I haven't got a chance to listen to the second one as we haven't been able to snatch uh, one from a traveler yet. Um, or been to a city yet. Uh, but but I, they're really good. Uh, it's a very good album. Um, Big Sis says uh, that she wants she will go see them live, maybe. But like we don't know when they're touring. So, but may, maybe maybe one day. Why in the world are we talking about this now? That's <laughs> you, <laughs> you just shout after walking for like a few hours. Um, a few hours through the forest. This is very rude. I'm having a conversation. <laughs> <And you're not laughs> Sorry, I, I I get I got upset. I was nervous. I apologize. Carry on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, can the just like whisper to like uh, Rocky and Pimera um, and Lo uh, Lo um, Lo Fi? Yeah. Um, like be like, uh, what are we gonna do about that? Um, uh, well, we 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 need to, you know, do something. Well, yeah, the children like walk ahead. And with Gokeru and uh, Kiko as well is skating ahead every now and then. So you guys are all able to have little chances to speak with each other about, about that. Yeah. I mean, maybe we can try to research it more. We don't have enough information to actually make a decision about anything. But I, I don't know exactly where we could find that information. We should ask um, the... Look, I'm not good with names. Um... But the guy that was like stuck with the children, <laughs> white robe man. Oh wait, no. Oh, wait, oh but you did talk to him. Did okay. he say anything about it? If we bring yeah. him to the temple and he has a talk with the higher ones, and we talk to have have a meeting with all of us and them too, perhaps we can come up with something. That sounds like a plan. After walking for like maybe two hours now. Um, Gokeru stops you all. Um, well, I... So we're very close to the temple, as you can see. He points, as you can see, the Red Pagoda towering over the trees. Oh, yes. um, so, I, I am I am going to go now, uh, because I... Uh, that's, that's, that's not my home. My home is back here. We need you to come with us. As witness to the children that we saved... Well, they, they were in safe hands with you. Why, why would you need me? Um, because we need more information about how you all ended up there, because the temple will probably want to confirm that um, you weren't responsible for this. If you were to turn away now, you'd look like you I had a part to... Yeah. Well, I... It's better to clear your name and your face before you are to go off your way. Well, if they don't know my faces and they don't know that they need clearing, I can just go. Because people because might be a little bit afraid. Of face and we want to hang out with you. Why would you want to hang out with me? Because so you got a friendly face and you seem cool. Um, well, I'm can I do an insight check? I'm like super <laughs> sus. Yeah, go ahead. Roll insight if you'd like. 
Can I do the same? Yeah, sure. Can I also do an insight? <laughs> yeah. If everyone would like to roll insight, feel free. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not rolling insight because Lo just trusts everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Sorry. It's, a, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah, keep going. She'll just be telling you about other bands she likes. Because um, yeah, yeah, she'll, she'll sing... be listening very intently. Yeah, she'll just sing you I, some I songs. Don't know where he... I don't know where he is, but like, if he's far away, I, I'm like moving towards him. No, no, I want to make sure he doesn't run away. He'd be following along with you guys, but like, he he stopped at, at at this one point. Uh, doing your insights, you he doesn't seem to be lying. You couldn't like he there's nothing about his body language screams oh I'm a liar, and he does he's not he's not being aggressive, apprehensive, or anything towards you guys. Right, right, right. He's not shied away from anything. So he's you, you, from... Would you like? Go on. I was just say, would you like to travel with us um, for indefinitely? No, no, thank you. So I, I th my home is here, and I, I'm not, I'm not one well, for adventuring. Not... See. Okay. My, well, st my stomach. Travel with us for another a day or so, and oh. hang out with us. Well, if you if you come back to the forests, we could explore the forests one maybe another day. Yes, of course. No, no, you can come stay with us now. Like, I mean, like, where you gotta go? What are you gonna do? He points to uh, a few trees ahead. Well, I, I'm going to just go into the forest and maybe, just, just wander. This is my home. Will you be all right, Gokuro? Your old home. You can't really go back then, huh? Right? Well, that was our second home, so we can always make a new oh. third home. Are you, are you, will you be all right on your own? I am always all right. I am Gokuro, the Shibatan. He looks at himself, smiling. You see, all, all the six eyes blink at you um, happily, if they could. Lois like, just going to go up and, like, kind of just put her hand out. Because <laughs> yeah. she's, she like, she'd probably give them a hug, but she's not too sure, so she'd yeah. like... He just hold, go care of hold your hands tightly and, like, warmly, and then nods at you. Thank you, child. And she nods back. She's like, ah, when, safe journeys, Goku. When you look in your hand, you see there's a little rock. A rock in your hand. A little, a little rock. A little rock. Are water just taking things from strangers now? <laughs> <laughs> I have been given a rock. Now, strangers. Nobody wants a little to buy me a rock. Well, I will be seeing you all, I think. Bye bye now. Bye, Goku. <laughs> uh, Goodbye. Stay safe. <laughs> what we needed the help. He nods at you all. And leaves. <laughs> Bye, you... I guess. It's just like waving her arm. <laughs> As you see him like about past some trees, you notice like this like uh, spirit fires like form along uh, his side, and he just disappears into the air when he enters the forest further. Um, the I children. The rock. <laughs> it's just a normal rock. It's just a pebble. It's a pebble rock. <laughs> you you have obtained a rock. Even Shed Treasure. Obtained. What's his name? Um, Rocky's Rocky. son, Michael. Rocky's son, Michael. Well, yeah. Michael. <laughs> Michael has been obtained. Michael. Lou's just going to go over and go like, oh, he gave me a rock. Michael, I already have Michael. What do you mean? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, Goku is left. You're all pretty confused, I'd imagine, having... Wanted her talent to stay. <laughs> the children follow on. Perfectly clear to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys make your way back to the temple, and after entering, uh, returning from the path you, um, you wandered, you guys can see the priests all waiting for you uh, on the plinth, the pagoda plinth, and they all rush towards you. Uh, it's about 4 p.m. now, and they all turn. Is anyone of them holding a watering can? None of them are holding a warring can. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> they, the children all go rush over and hug uh, the priests all separately. And then they go, right, they rush yeah. into the temple after thanking you all for rescuing them. Uh, You're welcome. They smile back. Uh, the, it is my duty. The human priest, um, uh, Neo Fuji, 
comes over to you all and his at the front of them all. I'm just gonna move. Even though the the tokens are tiefling, pretend it's a human, okay? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> nice oh. nice fake horns you got on. Thank you, I made them myself. Wow. <laughs> you notice his uh his robes are slightly different from um the last time you met him, but they're still as all ornamental and starting us as you get a promotion or something? No, this is these are my robes. I I, I enjoy I enjoy making my own robes, and this is a pattern I I would practice when I was a child. How was thank okay. you thank you for bringing the children back. It's uh, we we were apprehensively waiting for you all to return, and but gotcha. our divina, divination magics has told would tell of your return today. Listen, we, I I got really something really important. I really can't like you know beat around the bush about this one, and yes, I feel like we can't really wait any longer. Do you care? Like, could you make me a set of robes as well? Well, I, I could. Um, it would take a bit of time, unless like I well, we might have some spare robes, and I could make a pattern mm -hmm. for you if you'd like. If we measure you later, if you, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, of course. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, Y'all have fun talking about the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that you could talk about, Rocky. I like the idea of Rocky like, getting panicked and like he's like, oh, ropes. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, what, what, what seems to be the problem, uh, uh, Mr. Flower Man? Um, I am kind of like I Kiko because I don't think she's heard about us talking about the thing. Kiko, um, okay. Kiko looks yeah. at you all. Um, Godless, uh, just like, uh, oh, um, Kiko, do you want to go and talk about those bands more? Oh, okay. Um, she's going to okay. like. <laughs> she follows. Right. Um. Go on, sorry. You know, I'm sorry. that we fucked some shit up. Before you, we did. Before you guys continue, uh, you notice uh, Kiko takes off her wheel spell as she steps onto the plane. And then she picks up the pebbles and puts them in her pocket and enters the pagoda with you. But yeah, back to everyone else. As I discussed with Fi uh, Fuji. Yeah. So. What, what, what's, what, what's wrong? I'm not saying we did fuck up, but if we were to do that, I think we might have. Um. How would you have? How would you have done I such mean, a? How fuck would up? I have fucked up? Uh, we may have, you know. Just we have just, slippers. We just kind of. Stop, 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 stop. Well, We've got to explain. They don't know what this is yet. Do I don't know. I'm very confused. What's his sniffers and what is this We've fuck up you've done? a hole in the universe. <laughs> How? You went to go rescue children. <laughs> the How have you done this? was already raped. We just maybe made it worse. What? <laughs> well, okay. So. Please, 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 please speak. Um, tiefling, madam. Have you uh, ever heard or seen of the world weave. Yes, well, there are many stories of the world weave. I, I assume you you may have been told as a child by your tiefling parents as well, as I have. Well, not me. Sorry, I'm not a tiefling. I forget. Well, <laughs> sorry, the token confused me. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, the we, world weave is real. Well, yes, I'm we, sure of it. We we everyone knows the world weave's real. Mm -hmm. But there are ones in the caves that we found the children in. He tilts yep. his head in confusion. Huh? How do you know this? Because oh. we've... Uh, we raped it. I can feel it. And it, and it, it I mean... I we kind of all glitched a bit, and I, I undo the umbrella oh. and kind of show the sword to, like, mm -hmm. see a, an example of glitchiness. Yes, that, that kind of like the sword, except our whole bodies were gl glitching. But that's just simple forged magic. How could maybe you stepped into a patch of um, some magical anomaly? May mayhaps. Huh, that would suck because uh, it definitely made me look like I was ripped in half. But, but you know, I mean, that wasn't. Yes, but he, uh... his face is extremely confused and his confront. Bewildered. I mean, we would we would take you there to show you, but um. Where 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 was this? We... In a cave. In the caves, much ahead by about three hours walk. Oh oh There's yes, yes, a yes. Cave by, 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 by the river, the one the one. By the river. 
Yes. Oh, we know the cave. The, the ones that had the mines before they were abandoned. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, we, we, we can go explore that. To maybe... Don't! 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 <laughs> don't! Yeah. If you know how to close it, if you know how to close it, then sure. Well, we don't know if it was opened. We don't know. We don't know the situation. As, uh, well, and we know. I mean, we going going off your information, it's, it seems you have you have, as you have correctly stated, fucked up. But uh, oh, well, I mean, you know. Well, it's, okay. You you didn't know this, surely. It's just a must have been a a issue a, 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 a trouble through adventuring. I, I hear. Uh, just pulls out just, the, um... You done goofed is all, you know. Can exactly. I give an insight Correct. against this guy. Yeah, sure, okay, go on. Let's... Roll an insight yeah. if you like. I rolled an insight earlier as well. Um, yeah, that eight, so... like, yeah, didn't wasn't much. No, no, you... no. The I, I oh, the fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you both can tell this guy's just a normal priest. He wouldn't. He's not exactly lying. He does, or he's not giving any information through his body about him lying. He's his confusion seems a hundred percent genuine. Whenever okay. uh, Rocky doesn't care too much, whenever he's not looking at Rocky, uh, I stick my tongue out at him like a child. <laughs> the other priests do look at you when you do that and are very confused. I, I pretend that I was like looking at something else, even though it doesn't make sense. I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> there was this other thing. There weren't, it wasn't just the weave. Remember you said that like the children were taken by dangerous yokai. There yes. were dangerous yokai as well over there. And... The confusion goes to fear now, or and yeah, so fear. I wouldn't recommend just exploring that like all things. giddily, happily. Like I would avoid that place. I mean, we just kill them all, so it's not like it's a super, you know. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. But the um, information we read uh, told us that they have multiple homes. Yeah, but we got that one. What about the But who's to say everyone was at home when we were there? Well, then I guess we'll just have to go and back them up again. <laughs> by now, they're probably getting eaten by the hole. <laughs> I mean, it's all assumptions we're making. To the best of our knowledge, it's not a safe place, that's for sure. Yes, you're correct. I I think not maybe maybe you know. maybe not send us priests, but uh, well, we'll send some adventurers maybe or the okay. the hide the hide. Oh, hey, look, uh, oh, we're adventurers. See how useless that is now. Well, in my in in your defense, I didn't assume you had been adventuring together for so long. Oh, you're going to come with us? Well, that's that's more helpful. No, no, that's, that's not what I was saying. I have out. I have priestly duties. Lazar just takes out the um, like thing, making robes. Um, uh, Skizza snipper. Yeah, snipper. Yeah, snipper. Sorry. Um, I don't think we should just be waving those all around. As no, he pops it and shows it to them. Yeah. His eyes go wide as he sees just this huge half of a scissor in your hand that you're holding. <laughs> we found this. What is it? Do you have any? Do you think you would know? He places his hand on the runes and just reads them. Hmm. Bill Rays. Hmm. And do do any of you understand what this means in other speech? Any of you speak other speech? Other I speech? know that it means snipper. Yes. I can roughly guess it. Yeah, rough. Yes, you're correct. Weaven and other speech are almost one in the same as languages go. Um. Very strange. This is like it's often uh, you find these on shrines, in no on notes that spirits leave sometimes. Oh great! We fucked up somebody's funeral. No, no. This. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe. Would it be so we put it worth back? taking to one of the spirits that lives around? I don't think they like us very much anymore. We have to ask. Did, did any? Was there a Taylor spirit? Maybe. Was a was there anyone that looked oh. like they'd be interested in in a big scissor out of spirit? Like ropes. I don't remember. But I'm not a spirit. <laughs> there was only this you? very dangerous one that was like very big. He looked like he would be strong enough to wield that, but he was Sucked, obviously though. corrupted. Hmm. 
Well, I feel... I feel it'd be too late to go put it back now, by your description. Um... And we also pulled this out of the uh, world weave. Yeah. Hmm. When you wave it around every now and then, you do hear the sound of paper being torn like you would when you would be slashing it earlier. Oh, maybe you should start swinging it around. No, no, it's like when it? when she'd pull it out, that's what it just sounded like. Even, like oh. the slightest of movements I mean, would sound like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> well. Does the Sarah feel weird like holding it at all? Not weird, but you do feel there's magic emanating from it. And it constantly just oozes this magical radiation. And the priest also agrees, yes, there's definitely some magic behind this. Could I could you put could you put it down for me for a second, please? Uh yes. She just puts it places it down on the ground. Mm-hmm. Just gently, like, lowers it down. Yeah, uh, as you put it down, um, she... I mean, I see she, sorry. He just uh, props himself um, next to it. Uh, this may take an hour. I, If you would all um, like to do you your own... No, yeah. you, you could, you could, you could uh, if you wish to make a prayer or sit around the, uh, the temple grounds, feel free. Yeah. Uh, we did have a feast planned for you all, actually, if you'd... Ooh. And are there any dietary uh, issues that we'd like to know? We don't know. Uh, yeah, you don't. I, oh, yes. I'm, I just I don't eat. Oh, <laughs> is there is there something we can provide for you? Dietary issue. Can you? Stop? Well, sorry, Rocky. What did you just say? That is that is a big dietary issue. <laughs> I, just, I, I, I would I would I would agree. Um, is there? He is only it... takes water and non plant based products and non animal based products and Whoa. nothing that's edible. <laughs> I mean, everything we serve is often vegetarian. No, 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 no. You see, I just, I'm not, I don't eat. Like, that's, that's it. I... We understand. Could, could we provide some meat? not meat. Oh, no, no, not no, for, no, no meat. Like no meat on our grounds. I, I'll just sit here and I'll, I'll get what I need from the, um, I guess. Mm. Uh, You're gonna photosynthesize. Yeah. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I mean, my plants need that. That's all. That's all I need. I need my plants to to be well. Do you want a water pitcher? Do you have a water pitcher, uh, sir, for uh, my dear friend here? Oh yes, yes, of course. We uh, can one can we, we can gather that for you. Uh, he turns to one of the brother priests and they rush off. Um, you see, uh, actually... Fuji begin to start putting candles around his sword, and uh, with his fingers trace some runes into the mud. Hmm. Okay, Hopefully you I, wash your hands before dinner. <laughs> of course, of course. I I'm not the one preparing the food tonight, <laughs> but I will before we eat, of course. So, with this, are you performing a um a ceremony or? I am going to be performing a ritual. Yes, uh, I'm going to identify um the inf any magical properties of this uh scissor. Yes. Wait, what's that? I'm going to be identifying any magical properties of the scissors. Oh. Can, um, may I join this ritual and help? Well, I, I mean, there's no way you could physically help, but you could, I mean, you could feel free to watch. It's, it, it's, it's no issues of mine. But she's just gonna, like, sit down on the, the grass just to watch. Yeah. Just out the way slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, just give me a hot second. Also, hi Shanks, hi Declan, and hi Sophie, and Fal. I don't know if you were already here, but hi Fal. Sorry, we're not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look through chat in a hot sec. Um, but, 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 but yeah, uh, if you guys, um, but, 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 one priest heads off to uh, get the picture. I'm gonna move over to low. Uh, if you guys are cool with that for a hot second, unless there's anything yeah. you guys can ask while. Well, he performs the identify spell. Um, are we? Is this a short rest? Yeah, this could like you could uh, treat this as a. Sh uh, I, I. To be fair, if you want to, if you expect him to stay here for the, for the entire feast, I'd say yeah, you could treat this as like you'll finish around. The evening, essentially. So if you'd be spending the night, you could treat it as a long rest. If you want to treat it as just a short rest, feel free. Um, 
Lo, from inside the temple, I'm not gonna, uh, we're not gonna go on the map, uh, but as you step in, Lo, uh, with Kiko, she, um, you see Kiko's eyes go wide, and a smile spreads across her face. As you can hear footsteps uh, coming from up the stairs, as you see this uh, tiefling woman, uh, a tief young tiefling woman step down the stairs. Um, she's wearing a waistcoat jacket with the sleeves rolled up. Uh, her collars are very eccentric and pointy. Uh, you notice her, her horns are also pointing upwards. I'll pull up the art for everyone else in chat. Uh, you can see. Um, and you see her hair is just this huge mane of ice white uh, held together in two scrunchies very loosely at the tips as they point downwards. And you know, it's also she's got like these baggy um, trousers and some yellow sneakers. Her eyes are a golden yellow and she just uh, stares at Yulo for a second and then looks at Kiko and then she smiles when she sees Kiko. And she walks, steps down the stairs a lot more, with a lot more haste. And um, she goes to um, hold Kiko as if like with a, a little hug. And Kiko just comes up to her, um, Kiko's about f four foot. So she comes up to like almost um, just to the top of her chest. Uh, this tiefling woman is five feet tall. And she just look, just about looks down at you. And um, are you are you the one that saved little key? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, me and and my friends, we all did. Yes, and she Lou oh. does like a little bow. <laughs> she uh, she just watches you bow. Her eyes kind of look like they're just very focused on you, and she's as if she's just trying to just like watch, look at every little uh, feature of you. Uh, but uh, and it feels as if she, like she can look through your mask as well. <laughs> and um, uh, you see a blow, a bubble, and then just nod. Well, uh, thanks. Um, are your friends here now? Oh yes, they're just outside. Um, they were just talking to uh, the priest. Okay. I'm sure they'll be in soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on, Kiko. You 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 go do your your prayers. Uh, and Kiko uh, goes and washes herself in the uh, fountain. Um, on the side, and then after doing that, she'll uh, go up the stairs. You see um, the tiefling grab a just a, a board that's just propped against, slanted on the side of the wall, and it's got a, a marking on its uh, on the underside of it, as if like a raiju standing on a cloud. Mm. And she just like doesn't say anything as she just like goes to pick it and just looks at you and blows a few bubbles. Um, it's, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, no, you, you like you guys will see the hand. <laughs> uh, this is from inside the temple, uh, Rocky. By the way, okay, then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she does step out of the temple though. Like, well, um, unless you, if you want to follow her, or you can go up and make a little prayer if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'll um, follow um, Kiko. Kiko, no worries. Uh, well, the tiefling uh, steps out, and you guys also see this tiefling now step out. And I'll pull up her art for you guys as well, so you guys, because you guys can't see. Is he missing an arm? No, nah, she's just got it behind her. Oh, I okay, I see it. <laughs> that's like what she. Wow, that's where she gets her fucking attitude from. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she just sees you guys just over there, and she just looks at you all. And then takes a seat on the plinth. Yeah, uh, you guys. Yeah, what, you, huh? you guys can see this uh, tiefling woman just. Where is she sitting? Oh yeah, Where thanks. Let me let me, me prop a token down. I forget I have one. Okay. Ignore the bat. She isn't actually holding the bat in her hand, and she just sits down on the plinth. Watching you guys just sit, stand around Fuji as he begins casting Identify. How are you doing? She looks startled when you just shout at her. Good, happy to hear it. She just <laughs> stares at you very aggressively. Um, Rocky, why are you yelling at the children? I'm not yelling at the children, I'm yelling at a woman. 
I mean, I don't know, ma'am. Is this rude? You're very small for a, a person. Are you? A she child looks at you now. Adult. I mean, she's technically five eleven, but like. Oh, I thought you said five foot. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't want to get into the botanics of it. Then I should have. Oh. I should. <laughs> my, it should have been my defense here. All right, never mind. I'm clearly just not a child. She looks. She looks small from far away. Her hair I'm makes her look a lot smaller. She I don't just, like her. She looks at you angrily as well now, Pymera. Well, I mean, she, look at the tool. You know, that I bet you that's where she, the gross little one gets it. Do you want to play um, cards? No. And she goes back to blowing her gun. Blowing her what, oh, huh? I just want to snatch that. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. I want to walk over a little bit closer to her, like right over you here. You just take a walk, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, she, she watches you walk over to her. I'm just staring at her. I'm gonna stare. I'm gonna not break eye contact. <laughs> what? And I'm making a very stern and annoyed face. As she as 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 is her face as she's still chewing, and then she just shouts back at you. What? What, what do you want? Nothing. Just uh, you know, looking over here. Why? You're in my way. What? Oh, what, God, what, what? What? How am I in your way? Huh? I I was wanting to look at the wall behind you, but here you are, just. In my eyesight, so. Then look at any other wall, they're all the same. No, I like the wall right behind you. Well, I don't care. All right, cool. Then why do you, you seem nope. to care? You keep asking me questions. Go move away and look at the wall and don't look at me because I don't want you looking at me. I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the wall right behind you. No, no, you're not. You're looking at me. I see your eyes and they're looking nope, at me. Nope, looking at the wall right behind you. When you, um, <laughs> after that time. <laughs> Uh, she looks extremely annoyed, and then you. She looks a lot more cross, and then you. You just hear like gemstones shattering around her, oh. as you see just this pink bat just form in her hand, as like she's placed it on the floor next to her. Oh, oh no, the floor sorry, on the sun. Um, Rocky, I think she's threatening you. I'm not threatening yeah, you. Yeah, I've been threatened before, but oh, you know what? I'm telling him to stop looking at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the wall behind no, you. No, you're looking at me. I know you're looking at no, me because I can see your eyes. No. He's the wall behind you. No, he's not. I guess you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. You're looking at me, not the wall. Because no. if he wanted to look at the wall, he'd go look at the other walls. No. And then I see you see so Sarah walk up. What do you want? Sophie, I think you're muted. So Fiber is just talking to himself, I must regulate my emotions, I will not engage in this conversation, I will pay attention to the ritual and not engage in this pointless discussion, okay. and he's just repeating that to himself. Rocky, we need to stop uh, stop antagonizing her, just not doing anything. Say, okay, you keep looking oh. at the wall, I'm gonna talk to her, okay? All right. I don't know. If I'm gonna look over here now. Uh, I'm she, sorry. She looks down at you. Friend. And I'm she's just slightly above you. Uh, I, don't, I don't care if you're sorry about your friend. Tell him to stop looking at me. Okay, I don't want him so looking smoothie. at me. Well, he stopped now, so it's okay. Um, she I'm just, afraid he really does like that wall. Um, she's just very sorry. Um, who, who are you, if I may ask? Who are you? Oh my god, I'm... one of those. Oh. Well, Rocky, I don't need to um, answer that. Rocky is going to talk a little... Wait, oh, sorry, go ahead. There you go. I was just going to say, Rocky's going to loudly say, like, Hey, I'm going to play cards with all the people I like, except for the woman with a bat in her hand, because I don't like her. She's the only one not invited. When you when you shout that, Fuji looks up at you, Shh, um, I'm performing a ritual here, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, you don't have to play. <laughs> Give me the cards, Rocky. I, 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 I break them out. I break my cards out. <laughs> I'm like a fi boy. Okay. Um, my, my, my name's... Um, sorry. <clears throat> my, my name's Lissera. Um Doesn't care. Would you mind telling me? She's right. Name? I don't care. Uh, you you seem to look uh, have a lot of trait. Hang on there, Fimera. What did Fimera say, actually? What did she say? <laughs> That's what did Fimera say? Uh, no, I heard something. She didn't say anything. I didn't hear. Um, 
But because I didn't actually hear what you said, I'm gonna... Oh, she said, um, annoying when I said you look like... <laughs> she glares at Pymera. <laughs> Uh, well, sorry, um... She goes to lift her leg, and... Oh, just right, prop, just props it up, up just props it, props it up a bit as she looks back down at you, uh, Lacera. Uh, well, you see, uh, we came here, back here after help her, help, helping out all these children get back. So? You, you seem a lot like that, uh, younger one who taught us how to wheels, and she just, like, shows her the, um... She just like gets out some rocks that um, mm. she's been shown how to use, like oh, make one okay. wheel. Anyone can teach you the wheel spell. I ain't special. She does look a bit oh, like she's a little shit. She her, her angry face does look a bit more sad now though. Uh, more sad. You cut out. A bit more. A more sad. Looks yeah, sour almost. Oh, sour. Yeah, she looks more uh, sour. Still angry, but sour. Well, she did a really good job at um, teaching. Uh, I personally struggled with it, so oh, Rob, don't tell you her should that. be really proud of her. If well, if I don't, I don't know who this girl is, so I'm are. not, I'm not going to be. I don't need to be proud of anyone. You tell me to be proud. You know, of. yeah, she's just like, um, uh, if she's to like <laughs> five, five mm. feet high, like kind of being like, and like mean... mimics of like little hair buns, like mm. uh, little girl. The she does become a lot more like, she yeah she's she's a lot more like angry at you, Lacera. She's she's uh, she, 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 you have gained her attention, but like she's still trying to uh, be like just prop herself up. I'm gonna yell from across the way. It's the little annoying one who blows bubbles <laughs> like you. When no, you when you say don't. the little annoying one, she stands up. What'd you say? It's the little one. With the bubbles and the wheels. No, 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 she's not. She jumps she's off the plinth and walks over to Pymera. Pymera? Oh, the roof. No, so cool. stay, stay away. <laughs> You're not welcome to our card game. Leave. Get out of here. Get to go. She turns to you, looking up at both you, by the way, because you are taller than her. No. I pull no. out. Why should I leave? I pull, I pull out my, um, my paper man with the gum stuck to it. <laughs> I show it to her. Hang on, if you're gonna come over here to fight me, we have to move away I from the gum. I don't want to disturb them. Who said I'm gonna oh. fight you? Well, I don't I wanna mean, fight Rocky. you. Come over here with I'm your just... crazy looking bat thing just... and your cool skateboard. No, I'm... I'm gonna kick your ass. Uh, I'm not gonna fight I... you. Wait, 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 wait look, hold smell on, this hold on. gum. <laughs> Why do I want to? She, she, can I? She, can I she hear tries... any? Can I hear any? I don't you recognize. Can... <laughs> you can I hear the commotion. As you're <laughs> trying to put it in her face, she's like trying to throw your hand out. Get that away from me. Get your rubbish away from me. I don't want to look at that. I'm gonna ask you something. Even the little girl doesn't want the gum. The drugs. Kiko oh. gave this to me, and I turn her off sad. K Kiko, um, I heard Jacob too. Kiko also, by the way, is. <laughs> Doing her prayers with you, Erlo. Uh, you probably are at the top by now, <laughs> uh, lighting your lanterns and making your wishes. Uh, can Rocky do something real quick? Um, what, Rocky? <laughs> we can you see know, out I from the top, right? Yeah, you I can see this. Off of the thing and I throw it at her. <laughs> can I have that? And then she's gonna chew it and then stick it in her hair. <laughs> you want? You want? All right. So what? What do you got? You want to do? All right. <laughs> I was throwing it at, at her. Alright, could you roll for me a dexterity check? That's a choice. I did the sleight of hand, uh, if that works. Sure. Uh, while it's happening, can Rocky... So he can grab... This will be really awkward if I haven't done her sheet yet. I probably haven't, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I this is extremely cool. petty, may I just say. <laughs> we can't do this. Uh, uh, they started. <laughs> um... Rocky is going to get his deck of cards, put them in his pocket, and he's going to pretend to pull one out and say, "This is—is is this your card?" But instead of grabbing a card, he's going to flip her off. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at you. He's still focused on Pymera. Uh, what did you roll? Sorry, twenty. All right, 20. Yeah, I you rolled a nat twenty. I won't roll for that. You do. Where do where, where are you hoping for the gun to land? I was hoping to aim like right in her forehead. <laughs> yeah, sure. You land it right on her forehead. 
And it's just childish. And I'm like, can you smell it now? <laughs> when it lands, you see she disappears into a puff of like crystals. Oh, good. Get the fuck finally. All right. No, that's anyway. not good. The top floor is like open, right? So I can see yeah, down. Yeah, you can see this. On. Can I can finish off my prayers? And can I <laughs> jump off the top floor and cast you can. the ball on myself? She does have surprise on you, by the way. 1080, I'm gonna say. I haven't seen her. I'm not turned yeah, around to exactly. see her right now. But luckily, she's just so annoyed at you getting gum in her hair. You guys see that she's like appears in a puff of smoke. And then she tries swinging for him Can very I... aggressively, just... but she just completely misses. <laughs> and she looks Can very I... flustered and very annoyed as she's just standing behind 1080. Can I, um... Yeah, what would you like to do, 1080? Uh, Hello. Uh, on the top floor, like, can I stand like on the edge and just as loudly as possible strum my shamisen and like shout down at everyone? <laughs> Yeah, sure. To get their attention. <laughs> Roll for me performance, please. I'm just saying, she said can... she was going to keep her ass, and then yeah. she missed. Uh, can I just say, like, all right, get what? away from the ritual. Away from the ritual, both I, of you. I now. can move away. Move, move away. Shoot, I'm shoving them. Move I... away. I Where should I move from the... <laughs> She's not even there anymore. Uh, Tene, <laughs> you, you bump into her. You feel someone. You feel you bumped into someone as Lucera's pushing you both together. She she falls over, and then you trip and fall on over her, and Lucera's just standing over you both. As you hear just a, as you hear very loudly a string break. <laughs> as you hear, the, you look up to see. Yeah, you you hear a string break. Let me got three strings. <laughs> You guys all look up, including the tiefling, uh, to see uh, Lo standing uh, in one of the windows. And they're she... looking at me? Yeah, they're looking at you now, because they've heard the string break. It's very loud. Lo, <laughs> get down from there. It's dangerous. You see... I do want to jump out of the window. Kiko gets behind you, and then you see her cast the mending spell on your string. Oh. <laughs> yes. And then Rocky and La if you guys can see uh, the tiefling, you see her eyes become a lot more like bitter i guess you could say bitter would be the word she's like confused okay. angry and she's just annoyed she's like just she's been made a fool of right now is how she she's emba oh, extremely embarrassed i'm gonna ch i'm gonna uh jump out the window and <laughs> i'll <laughs> Wait, so am I just on top of her now? Yeah, and then she she tries pushing you off her, but you are extremely heavy. <laughs> can, can Lo just, you know what? just like run straight to like run around in circles to try to see Yeah, can I'm gonna whisper to her, like, could you like just stop? Like whatever this is that you're doing, like it's not look, look at what you got yourself into. Mm. She's trying to push you off, but you're just trying... not she 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 doesn't want to listen to you, she just wants you off of her. Like, I'm not gonna move until you stop. And as you say that, she becomes another puff of crystalline smoke. And then she uh, really? stand, then she's standing up and dusts herself off. And then she just has, calm down, Kiko, we're going. As wheels form on her skateboard. And By she... the way... Yeah? She wants the gum to... is still in, under your forehead, you know? <laughs> She turns to you very angrily and like stops in place with, with a uh, stops her skateboard in place, and she's just okay. you could you could if she could give off heat right now it'd be nuclear. <laughs> she's already too she's already red she'd be white hot if like her right, her heat could be showing right now. Uh, Kiko says bye to you Lo and says thank you for finding her but she's got to go in there. She kind of just does a sad little wave, and she's like, "I'll listen to those bands." She hu she goes to hug you. <laughs> Accept a hug. Mm. Big then... hug. Can, can Lizzo just do like a mini wave because she's trying to be friendly? Because <laughs> she wants to be friendly. A mini wave. Uh, towards Kiko, at least, because mm. she clearly can see that the other one doesn't want it. When Kiko comes out, she sees you waving, and she does wave at you, and then waves at everyone else. 
Except for Pyro. Uh, yeah. I, I couldn't hear what you just oh, said. I think uh, she, you cut out no, I did. Uh, she waves at everyone, um, and she waves at everyone but Pymera, because she's still annoyed at Pymera. I'll still fight you, little girl. And then, what? well, she casts... Lou's just gonna be like, Pymera, for once, just please be quiet. And she casts the wheel spells, and she goes to hug uh, Ke- uh, the tiefling. You guys know her name, but shh, shh. She goes to hug her, and then they, they, they both hug quickly, and then just rush away. Well... She is just, just waving. She rushes away as fast as she can. Kiko is just fo- following as Not fast as she can. Safe travels, Kiko. She turns. She does a little like, spin and waves at you. And big sister, I guess. <laughs> yeah, some help you are. We raised Lucia's enough gonna... for you. You're welcome. Lucia's just gonna turn around, look at him, and go, "What did you do? I didn't do nothing. She started it." Oh, yeah. I... So he just sighs and just goes, there are a bunch of children. Um, I thought I was child. supposed to be the fourteen. Rude, rude little girl. We rescued all of the little children and she just had to be her snooty little self with her stupid little skateboard. She tried to fight us and she hey. <laughs> Well, she thanked me. Um, uh, I'm not sure what how your conversation went, but I could hear a little from up top. Um... I'm gonna go and eat now, so I guess have fun, everyone. And she's just gonna go inside because she's a bit sad her friends to come. Thanks. Whatever. And with that, I think. Guys, why could we best turn out? I think we're gonna take a little break there, if that's cool with everyone else. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. (laughs) And I'll catch up on chat. Alright. Sorry, I, I was a bit hasty. <laughs> they wanted to say bye. After the break. Yeah. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. After the break. Oh. Bye. Um. Also, everyone that's new here, before I go out and I reach out, we've Whoa. got Patreon going. Bye. Uh, we got Patreon going. Um, and it's to help support the art. And there's some cool back behind the stuff behind the screen stuff. Uh, so if anyone wants to, yeah. Uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes.
Bonsoir everyone, we're back. Um, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Sophie, please. The French would be offended. No, no, no. no. Oh, bonsoir. oh, we're gonna offend somebody with that. <laughs> That's what's gonna offend someone. With bonsoir, not baguette, you know. Because <laughs> everyone loves baguette. Je m'appelle baguette. Je m'appelle mon anniversaire. Je n'en yeah, uh, we finished the little break with um, the Tiefling and Kiko going away. Um, Lo, you now have, your string broke, but it's fixed. And the priest has finished identifying Rocky as you're like messing around with your cards for still probably. Um, the priest stands up, uh, blows out all the candles with a wave of his um, his sleeve. And then he just uh, he just looks at you, Rocky, ready to tell you a bunch of important information if you're ready to hear it. Oh, you cut out a little bit, would you? <laughs> the priest is ready to tell you a bit of important information if you'd like to hear it about the uh, about the scissors. I want everyone else to just. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> it's important information, right? Yeah, important information. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Lay mm -hmm. it on me. So yeah, if everyone w wants to come over as he begins, starts talking about. So, oh, yeah, um, I'm gonna go just quickly call Lo. Um, see, Lo, they're gonna tell us about the scissors. Do you want to come? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, what kind of... this, this here, Bill Ray's uh, snippers, if you will, um, is a is all although made from normal iron. You'll notice it's it's got some magic that's been poured into it. Um, some other planar magic. Um, it yeah. looks. From what I can identify from, it's been used to tear at space and time, to cut into the world weave. Um, but it looks like it would need to uh, latch onto someone for it to uh, have those properties. Latch onto what? Latch onto someone. You'd have to. Um, you'd have to attune to it. In what do you mean by that? Would it would someone have to sacrifice themselves? No, no, no. You could um. So if let's say, for example, I wish to use its magical properties, I could just if I were to rest with and just t try and pour my person personality, if you will, and soul and spirit into this uh the weapon, the weapon will accept that over t after let's say a few hours, and it will want to give its spirit back to you and by doing that you two will become connected one if you will and it will open the doors that it had locked away so that you could use its special dimensional powers or planar power extra planar powers um is there that sounds like so... a right bit of danger is it safe? <laughs> yeah is there a way to prevent that <laughs> from happening like is it like, or if you rest holding it, it automatically happens? No, no, no. It's you'd have the ability to cause these effects by connecting with it. It wouldn't happen unless you were one with. It's consent only. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That and... doesn't sound like something we should do, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, it doesn't. It doesn't say or feel like it has any curses on it. It seems. Would it, it just seems rather powerful, if anything. It doesn't. Nothing about it could tell me that it would. Um, well, open we're trying hold. to put one of those weird mouth things. I'd assume it that. Seems like something that could corrupt that's us. Like that's that's the main question here. I seem that I'd assume that'd be part of a curse, and my answer to that would be no. Mm. It doesn't seem to harbor any curse on its. Uh, Within its uh, weaves. Sorry, uh, that was poor choice of word. Within its molecular structure. Mm. And... Do you think that it's just the world weave that caused that? It would have. Mm. I think something would have to have given it these magical properties. Something would have had to mm. forge it, if you will, with magics intact. This is often done with like often blacksmiths tend to to create forged ma magic, for example, as your friend has on his hands he to create weapons like that you would use a sorcerer or a, a mage and a um and a what's it uh the word a blacksmith together to create magical weapons such as that so whoever made this um would have probably been magical and i okay. but if the answer is if it's cursed no i don't i am 100 percent sure it's not cursed does it just cut or can it like um uncut or tie or connect or i don't know it's the opposite of cutting but um, to mend it to um to uncut well i mean as a great as great swords do they tend to only cut i, I would assume mm. this this only cuts and not okay put together put back together um, that reminds me, um, wasn't there an elder priest that had gone missing as well as the four children, or did I, did I misremember? No, no, you, you were correct. But, uh, we, um, when we did our divination magics, we knew, we, we knew you only came with children, so we had assumed they had passed. And we, uh, We didn't find anything. Yes. Can you tell us... Uh, anything about that priest that may have, you know, were they corrupt or seemed to be someone that would want to mess with some type of interdimensional magic? No. Or closer uh, with the spirits, perhaps? No, no. They they often wish to just tend to the gardens, and they also she like me. Was... Trust to me. <laughs> <clears throat> what was their name? Their name was Sen. Was Sen? Z-I-N? S-E-N. S-E-N, okay. <laughs> but there wasn't Med any... Delicious, but whatever. Well, how so? I don't we... know, it just seems a little funky, you know? Uh, was this priest magic? Well, all, any magic? all our priests know magic. Yeah, maybe. Uh, how... Know much... Sorry, you go on. I was gonna say, do you know what about much about like their family if their family magical or if um i know they're priests so i'm assuming they they weren't like directly involved with their family too often at least as of late but in general do you know anything about their family no they they had was no this priest taken at the same time yeah this this was one of the priests taken with the, the children this this one went with one of the children in search of the shibatan or sorry the yokai Oh, crazy! It's almost like we had one of those guys with us, and then he just decided they didn't want to come. Mm. Um, um, excuse me. Um, just saying. Um, who who else knows about these kinds of? Wait, we don't know. Um, is it okay if you? I, I'm guessing if you were to keep that weapon, you would be putting yourself in danger because of its power. Correct. No, I, 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 well, unless, like, you know, they're, they're hunting for the weapon. I think I would like to personally take this one. Uh, if that's okay. I, does, I have a, I mean, not seem, does it seem like it's gonna curse us or make us be anything other than ourselves? No curses I seem to be. I so. Okay. There doesn't uh, seem to be any curses on, I could identify. Did you say anything or does it seem that there might be a second half to this thing? Well, I mean, I, I like all scissors. This looks like it's yeah. It could do with another piece. I'm Sorry, assuming the other piece is through the dimensional rift, if anywhere. 
My hubs. I think it was just that. Um. <clears throat> no. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's. It's okay. Uh, I I I would like to t take this weapon if that's okay. Of course, I it's. No, I have possession. a feeling it might help or something. Yeah, of course, of course. Just gonna need it. It, it, it was it was yours to begin with. I I just simply identified it. Could you? One is there any way, like, ritually or just magically in general, um, tell the history of uh, a certain thing? Like, be able to see the history of an item? Not with magic, I understand. Sadly. Okay. Do you know of anybody that has maybe more uh, magical? I don't know comprehension or knows more about magic than you do. Uh, well, maybe not with the temple, but just somewhere. There the are the various magic schools around the world, obviously. The, no, the nearest you'd, uh, you could say would be in Isoto or in in uh, Nagahara or Funaha. Huh. There might be one in... There is one, I believe, in ha uh, Haido. But that's on, on the mainland, at the least. Hmm. Um, well, if, well, I, I'm heading towards, um, Kasakawa, I, I said, oh, is, is where I was trying to go next. Hmm. Um, well, I there'd, guess there'd be, there'd be various wizard schools there that you'd be able to stop at. Of course, there is the, uh, the royal wizard school there. As well. okay. okay, so the thing is, I, I have a bad history with, like, finding stuff that is, like, really, really, really cool and really powerful, and, um, and then things happening really, really badly or wrong afterwards. I, I wouldn't want you... Well, Sarah, I would feel bad for you and for Lil Nico if something were to happen, um, just like that. I... no. With the scissors? I mean, since, since we're all going the same direction... I, 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 I'd, I'd like to join you if you, if, if that's all right. You can sure, trouble robot boy. <laughs> as, like, <laughs> as you say that, a priest uh, follows up uh, behind you guys and waits for you all to finish talking. And when there's a little gap, uh, he mentions uh, the feast is ready. If, uh, if you will all wish to come join us. Hmm. That's right. Did you make it yourself, or um... of course, yeah. We've been we've been preparing it since we we knew you were arriving today. Oh, forgive me. I think I meant more like personally. Did you make it, or were you like a part of a group? Or oh yes, there's two of us cooked it together. All right, I appreciate it very much. Uh, you you, I, I can't wait to taste it. You look like a very competent cook. Thank you. He, uh, he bows at you. I bow Is back, but a, a little poorly. <laughs> um, I'll I'll just spend some time. Uh, with the flowers, if you don't mind me doing so. Are you sure? Um, have a good we, feast, everyone. We we fi we filled yeah, the water with you. For you. Um, I'll I'll just scoop some water from the river or something. I, I my plants are okay hydrated right now. Okay. I mean, we would love even if you don't plan on eating, just to accompany us, because you know. Yes, course, we can yeah. celebrate just... traveling together. Yes, celebrate. Uh, yeah, we should come hang out just... with that. I'd love. I'll come in five minutes. Okay, I just, I just need to consider <laughs> some things. You need to pee. It's okay. You can say uh, it. I don't <laughs> eat Primera, and nothing comes out. I'm so. Um, okay, well, if you put water in, water has to come out. <laughs> we'll see you soon sleep? then. No fight. Uh, I. <laughs> They they don't actually they don't go in, uh, the, the the priests don't guide you inside the pagoda they actually follow the path up to the kitsune um, uh, statues and then they you know it says like down the hill over here I I haven't drawn it but there is a almost like a picnic set up there's a little like cushion table um, oh. at the center and there's like little like cushions around it on a simple um, oh. uh, cloth uh, flooring. Just blanket is the word I was looking for. 
Um, but you can see, and you can smell like the various foods just wafting oh. upwards. Um, and as you like, you looking at the um, the table, you can see there is just this feast uh, before you. There's um, the various normal foods that they prepared normally at the top, such as the oka, okonomiyaki, um, the bo, 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 if I find my notes for them, I can't, and they're not on my hands apparently. Um, <laughs> there's like various noodle dishes available. Okonomiyaki is ok- okonomiyaki is like a pancake uh, cabbage kind of made from cabbages, or like batter as well. Um, you also find there is but well, if I can find them again, I'd, I find them and I lose them. <laughs> There's uh, skewered dango, um, jugs of bubble tea, mango, sticky rice, uh, melon bread, uh, various coloured mochi. And there's um and it smells lovely from where you guys are. And you can see a few priests also waiting for you guys. And Fuji um as if asks if you guys could go first. Oh, I realize the music's the wrong music. But yeah. It's That's... still the, the lovely music. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the vibing music. Let me get the temple music going. But yeah, uh Fuji uh welcomes you guys to the table. <laughs> And ask you all to take a seat on one of the cushions. Okay. Uh, can Lothara just like um, do a slight bow to the? Uh, so she does a slight bow towards the um, priest temple, and she picks up the um, uh, the big so- uh, sword thing and kind of just like carries it down before um, before she rather than putting it straight away mm-hmm. up, um, in, and she carries it with her. Mm-hmm. Um, down towards the food thing, um, just like kind of like holding it, almost like a, a blacksmith would be if he presented the sword, um, like on its side. Yeah. Um, or a plate or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just carries it the whole way, as if it was something sacred. Yeah. Um, also hoping that any spirits would notice it, perhaps on the off chance. But probably won't, which is just gonna treat it carefully anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As you uh, all... I'm gonna walk up to the edge of the cliff and yell up Look, my robot boy, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I- I'll be there in a minute. You need to talk about feelings? No, no. <laughs> it's alright. I you feel sure? like you should do that. Yeah, it's good. good. Okay, we can discuss if you want to discuss family and sad. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good vibes right now. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Go. Goodbye. <laughs> go, as like you, as Palmyra called you out there, uh, Tenny, if you want to ask what you wanted to ask, feel free. Yeah, basically, um, I want to ask the flowers, um, if they have any memory of, um, like, the priest either being, like, I want to ask, like, yes, no, was the priest taken? The miss Is a missing priest, like, was he, like, kidnapped? Mm. That's, like, the question I want to answer. I try to make it, like, simple so they can answer by yes or no. Mm-hmm. As you ask, you know, it's, you can see, like, the um, this guy's orange and as the sun's um, setting. Which reminds me to change the to this. There we are. Uh, yeah, you can see that the the sun's begin to set, and then it's just you can see the odd star dying here and there. As you ask that, you can see like little blue orbs rise from the center of each flower, mm. and then you just hear the words echoed "yes" from each like little orb as they and then they drop back into the flowers. What was their answer? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, sorry, because you cut the yes cut out. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um. Okay. Um. So he was kidnapped. Yes. That's all I wanted. I. I just. I. I. I thank them and ask if they need any water or anything. Yeah, just any water. You see that they all like just a kind of like you see all the flowers kind of nod almost slightly at you, but then like they shake their head, uh, shake their petals, 
as a no. Okay. So, uh, then I uh, just join everyone. That's it. Mm -hmm. By the way, Lothara just puts her, um, gently puts the sword, like, the big sword, uh, sorry, the big the sword, yeah. snipper away as, like, just, uh, just can't, gently as possible. Yeah, no, yeah, of course, of course. Behind where her scythe goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the priests uh, all take their seat, wait, and as they see uh, 1080 making his way down, they all, they wait for 1080 to, uh, to take his seat. And once he does, uh, they do a little prayer. Is it Rocky coming? Rocky? I thought Rocky was taking the seat, right? Jacob? I'm, okay. I'm, I'm over here hanging out. <laughs> oh, did you want to, like, were you going to miss out on the feast, or? I was just vibing. I'm, I'm, I was by the door. <laughs> no worries. Oh, you, you, you. I, def I definitely did not, wasn't aware where we were eating, I guess. <laughs> The venue changed. I was to go inside. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. The venue changed midway. Um, as you all take, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> as you all place your seats, good. they um they do their little prayer, and then they welcome you all to eat. And they all lift their bowls upside down. Uh, there's there's a bowl placed in front of you all, and you guys can just begin taking your pick. I wait. Yeah, as the uh, stars begin to twinkle and it becomes a bit darker, but like there's little dancing lights around the uh, the blanket, illuminating the food. Uh, Fuji asks, "Would you all um, would you like to maybe?" Oh, I don't know those lyrics. Why? I don't <laughs> want any drugs. If that's what you're going to ask. No, I wasn't asking. <laughs> I um, I was gonna ask if you could maybe tell tell your tale or even uh, looks to low, maybe maybe sing 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 a song of your adventure that you took in the mines. Sure, I can do it. <laughs> sing how well my performance went. First time I wrote. Uh, <laughs> Oh goodness. Oh. 20. oh, stunning. Fabulous. <laughs> you just... If you could actually uh, tell the tale, I will just imagine okay. it's a beautiful song. <laughs> where you, you incorporate your jingle bells and your shamisen. Or whatever weapon you... Uh -oh. <laughs> Sarah's I was just... gonna join in, but she was just gonna do like a really crappy like acting, kind of like almost giving life to what she's saying. Yeah, you you try dancing along to it. Lo we... appreciates it. <laughs> you just see Lacera bop into herself pretty awkwardly, almost like P Pimera was at one point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lacera, like you say, you're rude too. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, Pimera as I mean not Pimera, sorry, Lucera like you you know that like it doesn't matter if uh, your your da your dancing's poor. It, your your heart's in there, so it doesn't matter. And you, you don't you you pretend to not care. Uh but Lo, if you wish to recount your adventure in the mines. Um. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't wish to, you don't need to. I mean <laughs> Um We can always do imagine it, you did. Do it. Big adventure. We stumbled across a huge cave. It was very dark, and we could smell. Um, <laughs> <very dark. laughs> I blew up a That was fun. <laughs> I think she'd probably. I don't know. She'd probably be like, you know how birds like usually do. Stuff yeah, you're a lot more. Like they sound really grand. So like, um, like I don't know. Um, it was a dark. We dark bravely cave. entered the cave and. Mm. Um, even through the darkness, oh. we all, we sneaked up and slayed the the beasts who had captured the children. Especially um, the ones in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we avoided glitches in the world itself and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Very fancy. 
So Sarah's still just bobbing, trying to do her best with like with the with the words that she's giving. But she doesn't exactly know how to dance a glitch, <laughs> <laughs> so that's why she was stumbling about. Um, yeah, because I imagine it's more like she's playing some notes from her shamisen, but yeah. it's like more like poetry, I guess. Yeah. Along with the shamisen, mm. rather than like a sea song. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the priests ooh and ah at the correct moment. They're, uh, they they cheer when you slay the Shabbaton. They gasp when they hear of the world weave and Lucera's cringing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like the food's lovely while you when you, while you are guys you guys are eating and like the the priests also like they don't like they're not trying to be polite when they eat they're they're scoffing everything down. That's okay. Mm. Don't eat my food. Mm. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> When you guys are um, talking, the uh, Fuji stands next to, uh, sitting next to Rocky. Asks, uh, "When do you guys expect that you'll be heading off? You will you be staying the night?" I I didn't hear any of that. You cut out. Who, who does he sit next to? He's sitting next to Rocky, and he'll ask if Rocky's staying the night, or or if they're all staying the night, or if they they plan to head off. Um, uh, I assume so. we might stay a, a one more night before we head off. I, that's my assumption. I, I kind of speak a little bit louder so the whole crew can hear me. Uh, mm -hmm. I, are we going to stay one more night? I would say uh, just one more night to rest up before our, uh, before we head out. I would agree to that. Yeah, oh, so, uh, well, if that's okay with you, if that's no trouble. Oh, no, of course, course. of course. We, we, we have many spaces under the stars. Well, do, on, sorry. do you need any money for, for the food? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, grow this, we grow all our ingredients ourselves. And anything else is donated by travelers that pass by. If anything, we, we actually plan to offer... Offer you uh, all gifts before you left, actually. Oh. Um, oh. But we can, well, when when we get there, we'll talk about it. Where are all the nearest accommodations and next place to head? Because we, uh, well, well, we have to have a destination in mind. Well, there's uh, the nearest locate settlement would be where you just come from, um, which was south. But if you he if you continue heading north or west or east, uh, you'll find that you'll be on the road for quite a while. So you may want to, uh, if if you'd like any provisions, we can provide. Uh, they might, but of course, there's always travelers stopping, traveling around, wishing to offer grant food and news and such. But I, I, I doubt there'll be much other than the odd maybe um, motel here and there. Or little, little, yeah. little campsite that's available, free use campsites. But other than that, I don't think you'll uh, you'll find any large settlement. Would there be any place to grab things such as horses, or carriages? Horses. Mm. Not that I know of, but maybe you'll find a traveler that will offer to sell a horse for the right price. Maybe. How far is uh, Isoto? Uh, at walking distance from here. Hmm. He looks to think. And I'm gonna put you guys on the world map. Oh. Walking distance would be roughly about three days. No, it wasn't. Sorry, okay, no, it was like two days. Two days if you went through. Uh, he proposes a shortcut, but if you wish to take the way around the mountain, it'll take. Uh, how many days until we get to to, to Nawa? Nawa? Where yeah. We, if you want to ping it for me. Uh, you mean Nagahara? Over here? No, Nawa. Oh, my mistake. Oh, uh, my mistake. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, my mistake. That'll take you roughly 14 days. Of straight All right. Uh, <laughs> easy. <laughs> I was just curious more than anything. Uh, not saying we're heading straight there. Just you know. he, he was extremely taken aback when you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you wish to head to Isoto, we do have a shortcut through. If you follow the river that you took to the mines, you can cross a bridge and take a um, and follow follow through the forest into the um, into the unknown. <laughs> into Isoto, <It's... laughs> the pathway is actually so... is heavily patrolled. We believe by uh, guards. So if that helps with making you guys feel safer. 
Um, I'm more concerned so far with you, okay, I think, at night. We have I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, guards. Not that I'm, like, you know, a fugitive or have done crime or anything, but just the way that I was born tends to make me a little bit of... Apprehend. Oh, bit it of a... shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't I don't be. really I like, like guards as that. well. Anyone related to the government in general... Yeah. Well, uh, we had to be my best later, friend. But... <laughs> I'd imagine the shulker would still be more beneficial than if if you're looking to avoid um, unsavory types, perhaps. Although, like, uh -huh. I wouldn't. I would argue guards aren't unsavory, but I understand if if uh, if uh, you desire to outlast them, then maybe the shulker would still be better. to you. We would hope. Um, we have full respect of guards as a guard in training myself, in a way. Oh yeah, you're rocky great. side, you're the... rocky side eyes, Lucera. <laughs> yeah, you're the, you're fine. Maybe I should just travel on my own to Nawa. Um, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm I'm not that kind of guard. I'm just I I can be um and get out of jail free card. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I definitely understand that reference being from here and all. Um, so, so we, I guess we go with the guard route. Worst case scenario, I'll put on a fake I mean, mustache over my real mustache. And then <laughs> if, if you're looking for less guards, I imagine taking the shortcut would be safer than the main roads. Should we go for which the is faster route? Yeah, the, there'll oh. be guards either way, but the faster route will have you be. Kaz. Yeah. Then let's go faster. Would uh would Rocky know if just any old guard seems seems to be a threat to him, or is it just like royal like officials, like more like higher ups? Well, to be fair, they wouldn't even like know that like you're a problem. Well, general, gen okay. like very specific people only know you're a problem. I didn't know if like um I was more thinking that I guess Janazi were in general not supposed to just be wondering about. Oh yeah. Um, now like you'll you'll find Janasi. You'll you'll you'll, you'll okay. well, well we'll we'll come to that. Don't you worry. It's what it's what I'm gonna say. I mean, I was just. But yeah, you, you haven't noticed any Janasi come around, but your parents have told you that Janasi are they're native to Sri Lanka, and that's the only place they're ever born. So if that helps. Okay, so I'm not like I don't have to be weary of every single guard. Yeah. I see there. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, yeah, I think we should go the guard route, maybe. Unless any of y'all have any other... Oh, that, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like The, the guard route is both ways, because, like, oh, okay. there's, like, there'll be guards on either route. Uh, the fast mm -hmm. route is through a shortcut cutting through the forest. The long route, which is safer, is around the mountain. How long does the long route take, if we were to go about that, did you say? How long Five days. The long route? Five days, Five days for the long route. How many and days for the short route? Two days at most. Okay. How um, is there any... <laughs> yeah, how unsafe is the short route? Well, I mean, we, 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 there's a road that we've like cut through that sends you straight to Isotow, uh, through the forest that we've, uh, we've made paths to. And that we have requested that it's been uh, patrolled more often and we we we've made the trips we've made to Isotope have been fairly safe. We've not come across any trouble to our knowledge. Wait a minute, guys! I, I think I have like an this. idea. Yeah, what's your idea? Do you know the annoying people that just left us? Which way do you think, if they were to go? But I don't think they would. But if they were to go, do you think they would take the short route or the fast one? Because I'd <laughs> like to avoid them. I'm not sure where they were headed. You don't want to fight a little girl who doesn't know how to fight? We want to I mean, take the I short mean, route. They're probably heading to Nawa, knowing, knowing that. <laughs> um, well, they did he you know that they headed in fourth, the direction fourth, which is basically north, but like we wanted a theme where F equals north. fire. F so they probably took the fast route, if anything. If they were going there, the I F mean. Route. If they were going there. They could be going to another place, but I'm not. I'm not the most, you know. You know what? We need to take climb. the short route. It doesn't necessarily matter for them. They're not. They shouldn't get in that way. 
I do vote we take the short route for the sole fact that the thing that is, you know, that glitchy thing that's going on, we don't know how fast it's going to grow, and we would like to solve that as fast as we could, I would say. Uh, that's a good point I had forgotten about. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do hey, that. A broken I clock right we... three times a day. Mm. <laughs> I also want to say I vote that we... Um stop by that cave on the way and have like, you know, a quick peek in the in the door, you know, have a look, see if it's still growing, and if it is, we gotta hurry. Mm. Isn't the, 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 the cave is towards the east, I believe? It was... Or was it the west? I forget. It was the west, yeah. But you'd be able to follow the path, like the path um, there's actually that's why I've, I've actually put compasses in like e on each map. Uh, I'll bring you guys back. Um, over here. Um, they headed forth, uh, but you guys went to went to to the mine. You went to you went west. All right. So we went in this direction. Do it again, sorry. Like and this way. Yeah, you went, um, if I draw a big white line for you. You guys went this direction. Oh, that doesn't work. I can't get rid of that stuff. That's okay. You went that direction. But, like, you'd be heading to, um, if you wanted to follow the shulker, you'd head that direction. If you're heading the long way, you'll go east. North is, or fourth, would be... So, shortcut is, uh, um... Fourth, yeah. At the top. No, 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 this one here. Uh. Oh. Hmm. But if we're staying here one more day, then we should just check out the cave one last time. Or, or we could just be faster with it. We just know that when we leave, we have to find a way to deal with this sooner. Well, if you, if, if you're expecting to take the um, to see to to check the mines before you leave, well. The the shortcut that will take you to the bridge, you'll you can follow that route to the you aren't mine still. There'll just be a bridge if you just double back after stopping by. If you wish. That could work. I completely blanked out. Um <laughs> Like you can go basically to the mines and like you'll be able to make your way like uh, halfway up to the mines is the bridge towards the other shortcut. So you can ah. go so you can go to the mines and come back and then cross the bridge. I think we can do that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very responsible decision. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay, is that agreed then? Are we gonna stop by it tomorrow when we get there? I mean, we're kind of responsible, so... Well, if anyone is going to check... Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, I have my computer. <laughs> that was so close. Um, <laughs> I I totally I agree with that. Um, we we should. It is our responsibility, and it's a very important thing because otherwise we're putting this entire temple at more risk than they were already at. So we should really do that. All right. Well, Nico, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. How far away can you um control the? The light thing. Um, I see. A hundred and twenty feet. Um, oh, how about this? Um, you. Can, we can probably see over the forest towards the mine, right? It's a three-hour walk. Um. I mean, if we were to make a fire signal uh, to, to make smoke to indicate if it's dangerous, yeah. then it would be fine, right? Yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd see the smoke, probably. Okay, right. so... Tomorrow we'll go, and if it's if you see a fire signal... I guess, um... Safe. Uh, I would do the opposite. 
That would be well, not I'm, safe. If I, you see a well, fire I mean, signal, that means um, move. <laughs> well, my 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 thing is, you know, if we all die, uh, we won't be able to make a fire sim uh, signal, and so. That could also be an indication of, uh, you know, I don't want them to think that no signal means okay, when in reality we're all dead and just couldn't make the signal. <laughs> That's I also say, a very good point. Okay, so if we post a signal, if we don't post a signal by a certain time, because we don't want them to be left waiting and not knowing whether or not they can wait one or not, day. Yeah. If, we have, yeah. if we have a certain time of day and light to set it at, I just, tomorrow, that, that's the time. I wouldn't want to pressure ourselves with time and putting it at the wrong time or too late or too early. That would be, like, after going through all the trouble of making a fire signal visible, just, I think it's easier to say, tomorrow, just take your turn, watch over there until you see a fire signal telling us, telling you guys that it's fine. And if you don't see one by nightfall, then, um... Then, yeah. Right. See something is no bueno. <laughs> yeah, we can... Well, should we even help with a vacuum? Well, we have to... Uh, well, I mean... It be our we... You, you have, our you... responsibility would be trying to figure out how to fix it more than trying to evacuate everyone. I think it... If, if it, if it uh, helps. Understanding how sleepers work comes, at least for me, at a higher priority. If you plan to, um, if you wish to, at least like let alert us the situation. Well, we'll be we'll be able to prepare an evacuation situation to leave the temple. If you have one on standby by the end of tomorrow, we we do. Um, that would be the best you can do for us. We, we we well we put if like we were to ever evacuate due to any certain situations, our plan was to head south to Amy Daka. So we. So we, we have we have something in mind ready and I'm very certain any traveller passing by would would not stop to think to take any priests to a safe spot for them. That is quite fair. Well I hope so. I, I I would hope so too. If you guys can manage then I believe that'll be the plan. But my service is to help you guys out, so if if I'm needed, please let me know mm. if you can. It's you've you've already been a wonderful help, and I see that our our food is nearly finished. Um, as you as they say that you'll you see the priests all flip their bowls over. As they all look to see, perched in the treetops is a crane. Uh, with four wings, just watching you guys all. Eat. I'm gonna. If you give me hello, hello there. Hello. Do do do. How's it going? Well, wow. they. These are the uh, Leku. Uh, you'll notice they. I'm not sure, Mister Rocky. Uh, you, as you are new to the lands, uh, these creatures yeah. often come by when food is is being made or is given Can out. Do we feed them? No, no, no. Do, no, do not feed them. They they never leave. I don't know if you've ever heard the tale of the Leku. Nope. Um, well. No. No hard negative on that one. Would you would you care for me to share it with you? Sure. Well, if I just if I just find it, well, we call it the bird with a bowl, bowl for a stomach. Uh, you notice it's a uh, four winged crane with a long neck and beak, but the body's fat. Uh, on his head is a plumage. Very just... nice. <laughs> no, that's why. No, this is me describing it. This is me going into the story. Um, on his head is the plumage. Uh, is like full of flowers and petals. Um. And they look to be like a uh, pair of blossoms, you know. Uh, and you also know marked on <laughs> marked on the plumage is a red uh, indent in between its eyes. If I just do this, then uh, yeah, the tail is called a bird with a bow for a stomach. Um, when when Shin was resting one day, he Shin, as you know, is our was our creator. Uh, before he split into four um when he was resting one day he saw a flower fall off a branch of a tree um and with that branch he built the leko using some petals leaves and an empty bowl he had on hand 
and with a final drop of his blood, um, he was able to create the Laco, which became this four-winged uh, crane. Um, the Laco would begin to demand food off Shin, um, who offered a plum from the tree above and watched the bird eat and ask for more. And after doing this a few fair, a few fair times, the bird would show that it it, it would not get hung, it would never have a full stomach. And uh, after eating the entire tree from the forest, uh, from the forest, um, it, would, it would fly from uh, tree to tree. Uh, Sheen realized this bird would become a problem. And but this problem wasn't his to solve at night time. Um, and the bird bird would fl uh, fly away out of fear of the dark, and it would search for a hiding spot. Um, but knowing seeing the cowardice of the bird, Sheen would um, offer friendship to the bird. Uh, because they were essentially Kai, uh, family beyond blood, as some of you would understand the word. Uh, promising his Kai that if he would control his hunger, he'd offer the bird protection. And that is the tale of the... Sorry, I've heard that I've been cutting out. Um, of... So what you're saying is don't... Yeah. Do not feed the bird, yes. It, as, it, as it will just keep coming back for more. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll send you like I've got I've got it written down. What do you say? Why not keep it as a pet? I mean, it sounds. Well, it is our lord's pet already. The queen's friend. Well, no, friend, 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 I mean, I think bird. it looks really cool, but I already got Michael, so. Uh... <laughs> right. So. <laughs> so instead of feeding. Uh, the lake, you might wish to flip your bowl over so it understands there is no food for it. Oh, yeah, sorry, nice. flips her bowl over. Yeah, you see. Um, I want to go. So it's it's by a tree, right? Yeah, or it's on a tree. Um, I where is the tree in the map or no? I don't think so. Yeah, there's, there's no one on the map, but you can walk up to the nearest tree that has the lake over it. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna go up to wherever tree it is, and I'm gonna just like. But sit kind of like where I'm visible to the bird. I'm gonna be like cross-legged and just kind of like look like I'm meditating, but my eyes are open and I'm like not like fully meditating. Just mm. you know, my arms are resting on my crossed legs, kind of meditating. Yeah. It just, just kind of look at you. It just watches you. It kind. Of, it looks like it's ready to fly at any moment. As it my goal out. is to have it just kind of like either come sit next to me or um, get a little closer to me. Like I'm trying to be like very kind and mm. and um. As I'm sorry, it, just like open. Sorry. Can as I... it, yeah. Sorry. Let's say what you have to do. Uh, the sorry just goes up to uh, next to Rocky, but instead of saying a meditation, she does like a, a little um like head bow, like a friendly nod. And then hits down. It jumps back when you uh, do the bow, uh, Lacero. But then, as it sees that you sit down next to Rocky, it looks away from you guys, realizing you guys aren't anything to be scared of. And it looks at the um, the fruit. It's not the fruit, sorry. It looks at the food on the the leftover food that's still at the center of the table. Oh it, no! It will keep looking at you guys every now and then, but like it, it'll it'll keep looking at the food. Um, I. Have the priests um, anywhere we can hide that food? No, because Lo's gonna start picking it up and taking it inside, I guess. Now the priests are still sitting down. They're just they're watching the uh, the Sarah and Rocky. If you want to take the food in, you can. Yeah, Lo's gonna start like collecting up the food and the empty bowls and stuff and mm -hmm. taking it inside because she wants to help with like cleaning up and washing yeah. up anyway seeing you do that the other priests try and stop you and say no no it's okay we'll do it it's okay you you enjoy you enjoy um oh no no the, i'll help you should, you, no 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 it's okay but we you you are she's already are, helping uh, she's no, just doing it no, stop <laughs> child come back <laughs> as you're walking away not listening um, i'm gonna go with Nico to help her mm -hmm. yeah but yeah. Um I'm just gonna kinda like kind of inch over to Rocky and be like Okay. What? What what'd you say? Trying to get that's a pet. Trying to 
You cannot, you cannot whisper, I am very hearing impaired. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he, he is partially deaf. I forget that sometimes. Not not Rocky what? Jacobs partially deaf. <laughs> Sorry. Are, are um, we trying to, to get the bird? Are we trying to keep it as a pet? What's the plan here? I don't want to keep it as a pet, but I just want I just want to say hello to it and um, be seen seem as a friendly face towards it. I guess. Maybe when... you could eat the wild weed for us. <laughs> <laughs> when Pimera gets close, it looks at Pimera and then it actually flies away. Reassuming as you like gather together as like a little group. You cut out. I missed what you said. The uh, the the Leku flies away. Ah, what if I can go to my bowl of food? No! Did you, did you actually bring a football of food with you? I don't know. Did you didn't take it from me? No, did you bring it with you? Your your ball of food? I mean, I can go get it. No worries. <laughs> it's, it's already flying out flying away. It's too late. Okay, bye little bird. Sorry I fucked up your cool bird plan. <laughs> it just had hungry eyes. It wanted. It just wanted to eat. Right. Yeah. Oh well. It was like a very ravenous chewy. Essentially, yeah, like it'll 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 just eat and eat and it'll never stop. Um, and those are like pretty common. Like if you ever like if Lo or uh, Rocky or any anyone that's lived in Australia has often like eaten at a takeaway place that's outside. Like you often swarm that place and just like wait for some some fool to leave their bowl unturned and not showing that they're eating it. Um, as you guys as it leaves away, uh, the the remainder priests will um start packing away. The picnic blanket and all the food and um night begins to fall upon you guys pretty fast if there's anything you guys wanted to do other than um help oh i think after helping um <laughs> the sarah just disappeared <laughs> <laughs> i was deleting the picnic blanket it's okay i'll, I'll help you delete self <laughs> no <laughs> You ate the food, okay. you won't buy the picnic anymore. After so, yeah. helping and stuff, I think just like late evening, just as everyone's starting to like get ready to sleep, Lou's just going to play like a little lullaby or something on her flute, I think. Yeah. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. I... Sorry, I'm going to... While she's I playing, think I, I just want to watch um, like... If there's, I guess, looking towards uh, the west, if by any mischance there would be like the um, weave thing coming over, mm. like, I'd like to, like, uh, basically, I'll just spend the night sitting there looking. Yeah. That's it. Well, as Alo is playing her flute, and Lo, uh, Tene is just watching the forest. Uh, you guys see if you uh, you see those three uh, spirits that you saw uh, the first time, uh, low, and they swarm you for a bit. Uh, Lucero, you don't see anything. Same with you, Rocky. But low, you can see the three spirits just hovering over you. They're glitching in place because like they're obviously corrupted. But after like a while, they all just come over and like just swarm you and like just kind of like do a little dance in front of you to along to your music, <laughs> and. On the final note of your song, they just turn, they just disappear, and you see three pebbles drop where they were. I'm collecting pebbles now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Feel yeah, you, you saw the pebbles. You just saw pebbles drop. You didn't even see like where they came feel from. Any corrupted yeah, you you them. saw nothing. You no, you, yeah. they just look no more pebbles to you. And Rocky no, I mean, like, did they actually not feel any of the energy of the spirits? Nope. Nope. No, not at all. Okay. They chose to only appear to a little. Can I, I don't know, is there pebbles. anything, is there anything, can I pick, I'll pick up the purple? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Can yeah. I, I don't know, can I see if there's anything magic about them, or are they just pebbles? With the... They're just simple spirit pebbles. They... They, some of them look pretty fancy, but some of them are just pretty normal, like just normal spirit pebbles. You've got four spirit pebbles now. What is a spirit pebble? Just a pebble from a spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, night falls by. Uh, you guys sleep outside, I'd assume. 
and spend you spend the night the same way you spent the night uh, last time um, at the temple. And as you guys uh, wake up the next day, uh, pretty early, around eight-ish, I'd say, having been pretty tired, having spent a very exhaustive day adventuring and feasting. Uh, waking up at 8 o'clock, you see Fuji was waiting for you all to wake up, and you see him just standing um, over here, uh, where you guys were planning on taking the path to the, um, to the mines again. Uh, you notice he's holding a little pouch, or two pouches, sorry, as, uh, as you guys approach him. And um, he just bows to you all. Um, I'd like to thank you again for your service to the temple and we hope that you don't find any more trouble on your way to the mind or and that your journey is safe and blissful and you have many prosperous travels as he hands each each of you a, a pouch of gold um these have been as as the temple often does for adventurers that have given provided service uh, service these are coins that have been given through the fountains and um so you'll find that these are not to say holy but blessed if you will just like yourselves as uh, he chants a little prayer at each of you as you all how obtain much? your gold 43 gold how how must we use these um have, um, coins. However, however you'd wish. Would you like new shoes? Would you like new? Would you like just new regular socks? like gold pieces essentially, right? Yeah, simple normal like gold pieces. Feet. They and when he stops on you, Rocky, you see in his hands he pulls from underneath his sleeve. Sorry, is some robes, some plain white robes. Oh with, yeah, with some fine <laughs> gold I put it on immediately. Wonderful. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad our guesstimations were perfect, and it looks to be a very comfortable fit on you, Rocky. As you now have. Oh this. yeah, I'm like strutting a little bit. <laughs> no, just like a little cheer. She's like, oh, you look just like a beast, Rocky. He does. He, he, he looks wonderful. I'm a cowboy priest, samurai guy. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the finest samurai priest we know. And. Then he hands each of you all a health, uh, a standard health potion, just to, uh, oh. just in case you uh, wish, you feel that you are struggling at some point. Uh, it doesn't look to be like any. Um, oh, that is not what I meant to say. I was going to a stand and I weren't stranded. <laughs> I'll, I'll know what it means. Um, just in case you need to be topped up, you notice that the bottles are pretty normal uh, round round bottle bottomed flasks uh, with a red liquid inside um the labeling on it just says health potion and the bot the bottle if i were to describe it it's a red liquid uh that glimmers when agitated and if one used to, to pop the cork open and give a sniff it smells a lot like cherries and peach delicious very delicious we we, we brewed it just before just before you all went to sleep. Thank uh, you. Not to worry. Is that the tea? No, no this is a health potion. Oh. Um, yeah, why does it smell so many? <laughs> we we brew it with the finest of fruits. And the finest I of fruits. I look forward to using it when it's absolutely utmostly necessary. <laughs> I was gonna say I I hope I hope a situation never arises where you need to use it. Or should it ever do? It smells so good. <laughs> well, if you maybe you might uh, stop your toe and you might need a little. <laughs> you feel free to have a sip. He smiles at you. Well, I'm rather sensible. I'm sure. Of course, so you. I'll definitely need to use it at some point. <laughs> Are you sure that's sensible of you to be seeking pain? No, 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 no. no. I, I, I just I miss that a lot. You know. Oh. Well, I hope you I hope you missed this step a lot. Okay, okay. Well, I'm 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 hinting. I hope you all have a wonderful journey and safe travels. And thank you again for all uh, that you've provided. Any bows that you're very uh, deeply. It's a very low no, bow. No bows. Back. I bow back. Plus, I bow back as well. Very. Mm. Yeah, I 
willpower as much as I can, and I, I, I will just say, um, um, don't forget to look for the smoke. That will be. We will keep our eyes um, Okay. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. If you guys, well, sorry, go. Nothing more awkward than keeping a conversation at the threshold of leaving. So <laughs> I'm goodbye. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's rather awkward of you, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, but uh, not to worry. You... Sure. Bye bye now. He, he, he just Thank said smiling. Thank you so much. Bye. She gets a little way that she wants. Mm. She, she uh, can't turn would you ways back and nods. It's okay. I. It it does that sometimes. There you are. Oh, back into the wood. Yeah, back in. Time. Yeah, if you guys, bye. bye. As you spend your journey back into the woods, uh, you still feel the temple's warmth as you make your way. Um, as you reach the mines, you notice uh, it'd be about like eleven p.m. now, eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you'd see that the um, the world, the world we uh, corruption hasn't spread uh, into the doorway. So, like, just by looking through the entrance, you can see that it isn't hasn't made its way through. However, you can hear the odd glitching coming from within and like static noises coming from within. I really don't want to check that out, but I think I should perhaps have a look. Does um, Lothera feel much from there? Yeah, when you, when you even like look in its direction now, you feel a cringing sensation. Can someone else have a... a, a... A look for it's me. very hard to like look without like closing look. your eyes. Yeah, she's just wincing and like almost like looking away and like hiding her face. Can someone else please look? Sure. I will look I can. You. Or you can look whichever. Yeah, I mean if, if everyone else can perfectly see, fine. And while looking, you guys can see that like it doesn't um there doesn't seem to be any like corruption that's spread uh, further than like it's initially looked, but when mm. if like you look around the corner, you can see it's made its way further down the hallway, but not like at an it alarming rate. It looks like, like right now. It, it doesn't look like it's grown any more than past. Like if I if I put you guys on the map, actually. But is it like going to? Does it look like it's continually moving or? It's still glitching out how it normally would, but like it's reached from like where you guys can look. It's like you. Let me just get rid of this. So that it, like you guys aren't confused. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I was just deleting <laughs> a child, but don't worry about them. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh. All, all that was left was Pymera. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> if I put you down... Oh my god, <laughs> where'd Rocky go? I mean, not Rocky. Um, 1080. I wish I could see Oh, that. I'm just- I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry. No worries. The glitch has spread about. If I draw down on the map, can you see that? No. Um, I can't see anything. Can you unfog of war the map? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Has it? Has it? Bastard. <laughs> Bastard ass map. There you are. Yay. Okay. The, fog, Yay. the fog has got under. <laughs> They've explored the rest of the map, so it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's, okay, that's it, as far as it's gone. But it feels a lot stronger, so if you yeah. can't look at it from the entrance. Like, around here is when, like, you start cringing from, like, the spying cable. Oh, around there? Yeah. And that's, like... That was in a day, right? Yeah, that was in a day. We should probably do something about this, I feel. Uh, so, um... no smoke? The way, my, my 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 hope is that you know we go to with Asato uh, Asato. Mm -hmm. But it's um, not moving, is it? And that's a two-day journey there, and hopefully we can find maybe someone that's a little bit more uh, magically inclined um, to help us, and then we come back, which would be only four days. It, it, it did move a good amount within the day, but I feel like I don't think it moved enough to be. Like, I feel like we could do like a five-day journey, two days there, one day there. Uh, one day in the city and then two days back, and then I think we could we could make it hopefully before any more bad stuff happens. 
That's my goal. I think so. So give them the all good, but we have to be back if we know that it's gonna go wrong. Yeah. Or we could just let them abide. Like. But what if it just grows, you know, like plants, right? Sometimes they start like little sprouts, and you're like, oh, you're just a little sprout, and then it just grows like quicker. Like the fact I... that it grew quicker, like bigger, still. I say then we tell them to evacuate regardless. And mm -hmm. uh, if we do, we could try to walk back there and be like, hey, uh, we need to evacuate at least temporarily. We don't know if it's going to reach to you, but it might. Um, and then try to make it to Asato um, and back. We should have done a color code. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the smoke will say the same thing, right? This, no. Whether it, no? Smoke, smoke or fire, that's both the, the hands up. We either have to say nothing or walk there. Well... I thought that they, they, they thought that like if you set, uh, cause a smoke signal, then it's uh, they've got to leave. They've got to evacuate. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, Wait no no because I I remember you guys were saying, like if like nothing happened if they if you don't react, you could have either died. See I think yeah you 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 guys said like if you left it nothing they would evacuate. Yeah. Because they know by the end of the day. Yeah. I think we just head back there. It'll just take it another three hours and then just be like, hey, this is the plan. Not to just head off. And... Yeah. Because. I mean, I can't at least they don't know I'm dead. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, I don't want to be like, hey, evacuate, and then they all evacuate somewhere really far away, and uh, like we, they have an even more difficult time moving back. They like, evacuate like over here. By the way. Me... What's they, that? They evacuate over here, just a day's journey into Amy Duck. Okay, well, I would still like, you know, I think I would like to give them, uh, yeah, no, yeah, just like a kind of explanation of what we're thinking, because I would like them to not, you know, I don't <laughs> want them to stress as much as they have to, because it. It may not be an issue. We may be able to solve it before it, it spreads here. You're correct, and the worst part is that if we don't say anything, they could potentially send other adventurers to try to, like, save us or something stupid mm -hmm. like that while we're actually okay yeah. and trying to make things all right. I vote so. we, um... Give I mean, do we have a bird that can fly there? Do we still have that phoenix? I don't know. <laughs> Will the phoenix be able to go that far, though? Do, uh, Pimera, do you think anything can go that far? Uh, how far is it? It would uh, be three, three hours. Three hours. Oh, yeah, probably. Let's find out. If it's three hours for us, it might be faster for Queen, because Queen's a bird. Yeah, she is. And then you can just summon Queen. We can probably write a message. And go straight across by, um, uh, yeah, by the, above the trees. We just have send queen, yeah, with a note. Send them to a, what well, we're going to tell them then, to evacuate and... Yeah, it, it could, it could go as far as you want it to go. We can get them to evacuate to the nearest location that we believe is to, a day away. Um... And that we'll be back at some point, because um, we just don't know how much we can cross the cave. Yeah. It's definitely expanded. So. I think at the very least they go out for um, at least a week. They take a week vacation somewhere, <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, we could, we're could we going to be back in like five days, probably at most, hopefully. And then right. we can um, and say it takes, you know, two days just to figure it out. That's being generous, but, you know. Hopefully we can figure out in less than two days, but I think. Okay. Give us five days. Tell them to give, give us, us five week. days. A week. A, a okay, week a is week. safer, yeah. Give a, get, get, okay, go away for a week, week and a half. Please. Depends on how they <laughs> feel about it. Um, yeah, GTA 4. You know <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might be back, but uh, yeah. We might be back. I mean... might be back. Are we? Are we planning on going? Back? I mean, if we could find some someone that you know could probably solve the issue, we'll probably come back, right? Probably but if we also find right? someone who tells it, right? us it's okay. Well, I mean, if someone tells us it's okay, then 
Um, we could hopefully, maybe one of the bigger cities, we could borrow like a bird or something to tr deliver another note <laughs> from further away. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, Primera's Queen can, like, it can go any distance. Once summoned, it can okay. go anywhere. Like, from the, as long as it's, like, in an hour. But, like, Queen can fly real fast, so. I mean, if we don't need to come back, we could be like, hey, Queen, just let them know that everything's fine. The glitch thing is just. Just imagine like a heat wave, I guess. I don't know. Uh, nothing can happen. <laughs> but I have little expectation that nothing's gonna happen. Just based off, you know, what we've seen from touching it slash. If, uh, you want to summon Queen? Right yeah, yeah. If you want to summon Queen, um, Pamera, uh, you guys can send the message. Beth? Yeah, what do you want her to say? Well, she, I mean... She's out for a week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, a bait, uh... A the weed for a week. has grown. Be gone for a week. How would you we transfer? How do you plan to transfer this message? And by the way, when you summon a queen, is any... Are you summoning it right in front of you, Beth? Or are you summoning it... Does anyone have any piece of paper? I don't uh... think We'll just have someone did. cool. Write it on a robe. Mm -hmm, she does. Could you write that then, Pope Merit? Um, will she be able to well, carry it without burning so there's, it? There's, yeah, so she's made a fire, so um, <laughs> not paper. Uh, we do have any fireproof um, stuff? What about a rock? We could carve it into a rock. We could. <laughs> that seems like a lot of effort, but I mean, <laughs> we, could make, like, we could make a protective sheath for the paper. Uh, out of Michael. What about Michael, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing him into this? Um, what have you done? We could, um, we could put it in a scroll case. Yeah, What's I mean, that, that seems safe-ish. Like a leather scroll case, you know? Is she good at not burning that? I mean, uh, leather her, is pretty fireproof for the most part. Are her part. talons on fire as well? I mean, they're not her talons, but she's still pretty hot, you know, made of fire and stuff. Sure, but like... Okay, give her a piece of cloth in now and see if it burns up. <laughs> Is there any writing okay. on a piece of paper, or do we just be playing a piece of paper? Hi, Mary, can you give her a piece of leather? <laughs> right, then to the... Wasn't some of the bedding here made of leather or something you inside must... the mine? Oh, yeah. Can we go back in the mine? I feel like it stretched a little bit too far for us. Did it? Not that. I mean, you I guys can't could... tell right now. I'm, I'll, I'm that. I'll put you guys on the on on the map. They're <laughs> just all like debating. But as oh, you yeah. as you summon Queen, I'll say, um, I'm gonna put you, Lissera, over here. Everyone else is a bit closer because I know yeah. you, you don't like the. As you summon Queen. Everyone gets a sudden wave of heat again. Oh. That like cap <laughs> <laughs> that they did last time. Trying to figure it out, okay? You don't hear me talking about all the stuff that you guys get wrong. Whoa, oh. hey, Queen, you grown? Hey. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Stop, homie. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry, oh, no. I'm feeling very self-conscious since the last time we tried this. When everyone, yeah, everyone gets the, those visions that they got, except for Pymera, obviously. Again. Uh, again. 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 Well, in Pymera, but, like, uh. but no one, you don't get like uncomfortable heat from her anymore. And Queen just places herself in front of you, uh, Pymera. Maybe we should also warn the priests that that may happen to them. <laughs> How long would it take to get back with the wheels spell? Um, What's the matter? Is she not it... good enough for you now? <laughs> <laughs> it cut your movement by half. So an hour and a half to get back. Take an hour and a half. Nope, ah. Queen would probably I mean, take an hour and a half. If you did that and we'd met and we'd meet by the bridge, uh, which is halfway through the forest when we crossed it, then we would just have to wait for you for an hour and a half and that could be nice. I'd rather send Queen, to be honest. If we can get her to carry this leather thing, they'll understand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you see Lo-Fi just like, enter the... Enter. 
Lo bye, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you find a what's piece. What's this made of? You find just like scraps of like leather, uh, fur, hay, and just like assortments of like just stuff to make bedding. But yeah, you're able to find All a piece right. of leather. Hey, take it. Mhm. Mm what the fleece? <laughs> Come back. I got the leather. As uh, you give it to Queen, Queen just holds on to it. And then just like looks at it. And you see like it kind of like smolders a bit. Very sm uh, slightly. But like as soon as like Queen realizes that like as, as you, that's not what you want. You notice her flames kind of dim down a bit. And then it starts Whoa. smoldering. Perfect. This will work. Let's uh, write that letter then. Okay, are we going to do an official wording politeness? Because they're a temple. Um, yeah. I'm not really... Efficient for me is more useful than... When you say that... Temple wording, I don't really know Queen... the words, but if you do... Queen turns to Lucera and gives her a bow to show that she can be polite. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about you just assuming that she's rude. I don't know, no. no, that's not what I meant. I'm, I love how, like, like I'm, writing the letter. Primera has gone from being like, really nice and then also she's like, she's really highly strong I'm lately. I'm feeling a certain type of way, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I trust the bird is very majestic, so. She is really majestic. <laughs> if I need to, I can, I, I'll send Michael. Okay. <laughs> He's not the fastest, but he'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts Michael on the floor. Go on, Michael. Go on. No, he just wheel spell on Michael and just... <laughs> <laughs> Would four wheels fit on him? <laughs> a pebble riding a pebble. Wow. Uh, but yeah. Um, if, uh, what does the note look like? If so, who's writing the note? If they want to write the note. Well written. With exactly what we've said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are we not gonna have the exact wording? If you don't have the exact wordings, no worries. Dear Temple, um, uh, we have found that the um, uh, Dear Temple, we have found that the world we have expanded a fair bit. We definitely In... fucked up the thing. No. <laughs> it's definitely slowed, slowed down. Um. But we don't know if we can guarantee that it's stopped. So we advise that you take get uh, evacuate the temple um, for about a week, and we will make our way back to you soon as uh, around that time um, back to the temple to deal with this world <laughs> Uh Seeing see you then. Hey, be be safe. That's the that, that little best wishes at the end is a nice touch. <laughs> um, should we sign this letter? I mean, it's yes. not a Christmas card, guys. It's a sign. It. <laughs> Can we sign attach a little family on. photo it's of us? Get out of town! You're going to die, card. All right. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh. We sign this as well. <laughs> Let me try to make a little like drawing of all, uh, all of us like in the corner of the letter mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna know who it's from <laughs> um, do, what, what should i roll for my drawing uh ability roll for me performance oh so thank you performance. uh jacob and thank you yeah we're gonna finish up soon i just got like <laughs> one one tidge of a scene on the show two oh it's awful it's barely a stick figure barely <laughs> It's just an assumption of li five lines, varying heights. That's that's the group. They know. It's perfect. <laughs> As you finish the drawing and hand it to Pymera, and Pymera, you pass it to Good night. Pass it to Queen. Queen just looks at the leather scroll, and you see from within it's the leather scroll begin to smoke. Oh, and it bursts into fire. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
see, you see <laughs> Queen open her. You see Queen open her mouth, and Beth, could you please read what I'm about to send you in your voice? As you hear Queen just speak in uh, Pymera's voice, you just hear Queen just say a few things. What? What were you gonna say? When when Pymera's got the message, just let her. Beth? Beth. Uh, if you check the message, uh, that's what Queen yeah, says. If you, if you could read what Queen just said uh, for me, because she sounds exactly like yeah, you. Simple. We have found that the world weave has expanded a fair bit. We fucked up a fair bit. <laughs> it's definitely slowed down, but if you all evacuate the temple for a week, we'll get back to you. Best wishes. <laughs> And then you see on her feathers, Horrible. you see, yeah, you see, you see like these uh, lines that you know is uh, Tenny as your drawing in her feathers. But then she flies away in the direction of the temple, very fast, very swift, very safely. Okay, I'll just take the off. It's very abrupt, but she's done it. She's off. Off she goes. Does that mean we can be on our way? I guess so. How are we gonna cross this? Are you? If you go back, uh, double back, halfway, uh, an hour's oh, back, yeah. you'll find there's a bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, following the shortcut um, and crossing the bridge, uh, you feel the temple, the warmth of the temple, f um, go for a while, and it follows you for a day. As you follow the secluded path, uh, you see, you feel um, it's warm, warms you up, keeps you going as you just keep going for like a few hours. Um, as about now it'd be about 5 p.m. as it's, uh, the sun's setting. You feel, uh, you, the scent of the fa uh, forest grows heavier as the day passes, and sunlight stops passing through the leaves. It, it stops being. You know it's um, sunset about now though, is as you know you've been walking for a few hours uh, since the sun stopped uh, peeking through, and you can see a few forests uh, growing on the side and many goe uh, streamed over a few branches here and there. Um, You're cutting out so bad for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, I'm a... DM now. <laughs> it's a DM now. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, hopefully it's better now. Um, you just basically make your way through the um, the secluded path uh, for a while, and like the, the forest grows heavier, and the sun stops peeking through around uh, sunset, and you can see a few uh, far various wildflowers here and there. And you can see a few goes, uh, which are like those uh, thunderbolt, like white ribbons, uh, streamed over a few branches here and there. And as that, okay. like, and after like a few, like, uh, after like seeing a few of those uh, pass by, and like, you've been tra walking for a while, you feel a bit tired. You hear the sudden sound of a thunderclap, and the sky being ripped open. As you feel oh. a bit of rain start sprinkling over you guys. And then you suddenly hear water and very aggressive rushing water as you see just a wave come from in front of you in the forest washing towards you and you can hear the odd stream screaming here and there if you could all roll a dexterity save yeah 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 it's as if, yeah as if like a wave has just like brushed through the forest and like you can see it's like thrown some of the trees down and as it's thrown some of the trees um at like odd angles and broken up a bunch of the branches you can see in the sky against the um the setting sun you see this giant long boat just falling from the sky um with like a wave of water underneath it a long boat? <laughs> yeah a long boat oh no that means somebody's probably dying we should help uh, you can see that uh, the longbow has like a dragon uh, head on its front. By the way, it looks to be very—it's very, it's very um, foreign. None of you guys um, have seen like the patterns displayed on it. But like, you're too busy concentrating. The middle of the forest. You're too busy. <laughs> it's in the sky. It's, it's falling from the sky. Um, um, uh, just above this huge torrent of water. And with your deck saves, uh, eighteen. I mean, nineteen, eight, sixteen, twenty-three, and uh, what did you? Um, the circle your deck save for me. Oh, sorry, Dex, sorry, it's a save. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. No worries. Well, 
Um, Rocky, you're able to just uh, quickly grab onto a tree and just um, feel like the water rush past you. Same with you, Pimera. Uh, you, you dig your claws in very tight, uh, tightly and aggressively as this like... wave is just washing past you. Uh, just give me a hot second. Um, however, Lucera, you you try try holding on to some of the trees, and same with you, Lofi boy. But you both are kind of getting swept away by the wave. You see, Lo is struggling. <laughs> she, she decides to fight the water. Tiny me. Lo is struggling, but like Lo, you. Uh, tried to like reach out for Lo at all. Yeah, you, she's you're you're trying to grab onto, and you see Ten Eighty is closer, and you see Ten Eighty just like kind of like push into her and lo you just uh your body gets thrown into a tree and you just you on instinct you just grab onto the tree holding in place as like after low uh 1080 shield bashed you or body bashed you really uh low and uh so you eventually both are able to like just grasp claw on to the nearest tree and you guys all like kind of like spread out in this little like um this area that's like just got a wave that's been washed through and then you hear the sudden cracking of a hundreds of branches and smashing of trees as you hear the longboat has just crashed into the canopy and you can just oh. about see the head of the dragon of the, the wooden dragon okay i was like there's a dragon <laughs> <laughs> the, the wooden dragon lands like how far away it's um you can you can just about see it's the shadow of above. yeah it's just you can see just a few feet ahead of you and i'm gonna do if i can just drop you on the map and we'll end the session there. Oh. You can you did see a few <gasps> pirates, uh, not pirates, well, people get swept away by the waves, <laughs> I'll add as well. And I'm just gonna pick them up and was like, <laughs> the, yeah, the water did just pick them up and just said <laughs> Yeah, uh, you see this um in front of you guys. As you guys are just like thrown about. Did we get damage from uh getting uh failing the deck save of the Wave of water? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm gonna put Pimera closer. Hello, you're gonna be back here. Is there fish around? There is, you can, you can see there's a few fish strewn about. And you can see, like, um, the water is just suddenly, like, sinking into the ground event after, like, being washed away for a while. And we're gonna end the session uh, there, though. Uh, um. Uh, yeah. Uh. If I just okay, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, do they know um, that they're um, the W um, people on the boat seem to know where we are? Nope they um, they they look you there. you can't see you can't, they're too far oh, well they're too high up or too far away or you and you're too like in shock to like even concentrate on anyone else's but yourselves expressions. The Sarah, yeah. I'd say you're like you're very concerned about Lo, but you can see that she's grasping onto a tree. You're all like holding off a deer, like even as as the war eventually stops uh, washing past. But yeah, uh, we're gonna end the session there. Um, okay. So thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys for watching. Everyone that like stuck around or lurked or whatever. Oh, we just got a bot at the end as well. Wonderful. Yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> oh. mm. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> just in time. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for watching. The music stopped, but I'm going to get the outro music going. Because uh, we are going to go raid someone as well before we finish. If I Wait, do this. I go live. I'll go. Uh... <laughs> Quick, <laughs> do it. No. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you. Uh, I don't know if Shanks is. Shanks is probably still not there. But yeah, um, thanks for for stopping uh, hanging out. Uh, sorry that we didn't read chat. Because a lot has been happening. It's been a very chaotic session, but it's been very, very fun reading through what you guys have said, introducing the tiefling woman and the little pirate scene. Um, yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to say before we we head out? I finally did it. <laughs> Yay. We saved the children. We we made it out of the the mines. I'm really happy. That was fun. Thank you for DMing. No worries, it was, it was so very fun. It was, it was, it was a pleasure. Amazing. I'm going to put a little token down, actually, because I feel, feel it's fair. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. It's the loser's table. <laughs> 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 Come 
just going to have like a whole thing of Rockies. <laughs> a Rocky walks into a bar, you know how the joke goes. <laughs> He walks into the bar. That's it. Stand up. Queen is also enjoying the stand up. We are going to oh. need a better, a bigger room at some point. I, I was, I'm assuming. Eventually, <laughs> it was a fun time. Like, banging out, you know. Yeah. Nah, the Rockies got to stay. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't going anywhere. Mm. And with that, uh, if no one else wants to do any chat, uh, I'm going to link everyone's uh, social. Sam streams uh, from time to time. I'm actually going to be Sam's boyfriend's birthday as well, so happy birthday, Marcelo. Uh, <laughs> I thought I wanted to say. And also, <laughs> we actually can play Marcelo's game Thursday, which is going to be nice. I'm very excited. Um, Which is Boyfriend Dungeon. Very hype. Uh, mm. uh, we've got Sophie, who also streams and does art. Uh, but, 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 but if I put her link down. Did a stream today as well. She I did, she that. did. Uh, we have Georgia, who is a jeweler, <laughs> and she has an She's excellent... an archer, a real archer, also. <laughs> Lime green uh... archer, who? It's me. It's her. Uh... Lime green, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia here with the Pringles in a bag. No, 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 it's, it's, uh, no, these are after eight. I'm just trying to pick them up. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> well, it is after eight, you. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Uh, there's Beth, uh, <laughs> uh, Beth, who plays Palmyra of the Turtle Guild. Um, she also Hello streams me, hi, and makes maps. That's not who they are. <laughs> turtle. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. And there's Jacob, who, who streams and does a podcast, and he's pretty cool. I don't. I think I still haven't added um, the Dudes and Danes podcast, but uh, they. Oh, they're so good. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's uh, Jacob's podcast. I'm um, Kaz. Uh, I do art from sometimes. Here's my links. I think that's wrong. Link. There we are. Link. Link. Links. Sorry. No worries, no worries. No worries. Um, if you're new to the chat, uh, we have a Discord um, where you can keep up to date with the stream. And we also have a new Patreon that was just released or announced today. Um, if you want to help support the streams, uh, come by. There's some cool behind the screen stuff. And. No. Well, we, uh, we're not sure when our next session will be. Uh, we'll keep you posted on the Discord. If you click the notification bell, um, I'll mention it on stream one time if you ever stop by again. But if I don't catch you by for next stream, which will be actually me on Jacob's stream tomorrow, um, doing tomorrow with him. Yes. Um, we hope you have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out for session five. <laughs> Sorry about the issues we've had lately. Sorry, go on time. And once again, like, for those watching the VOD or for those who lurked, yeah. thank you for your time. Thank you so um, much. Thank you so much. Like, it's, it's like, we're really blessed to be playing this game. It's really fun to be uh, sharing this time with you. Um, it's just, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Got, you. You guys can't thank see Bomb Ooing right now. That's just, that's just me whenever I stream. Who woos Every in the chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a second to get um not doing the accent again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I get that. I, I get oh, stuck with the. Um... You, you got a voice modifier. Oh, good lord. Uh, you have a voice modifier. <laughs> uh, we've never talked about. You don't know. Um. This is, you know, first, yeah, I remember oh, when, oh. when Shanks joined VC, he went, to him, oh, you're lo-fi boy, because he didn't realize you, the voice mod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, with that. I mean, you have pure talent. That's what it is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. He, it takes time and craft to skill your voice to uh, sound like it's crunching up like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just kind of like half choke myself. <laughs> I've been doing that for the last no. like... Um, I, I knew Beth was gonna say like, I was you know. not saying anything. Um Nate's actually gone live, so I'm gonna go raid him. But yeah, so <laughs> Woo Yeah. Who's that? Nate, a uh, friend of ours, uh called uh Maritime Gamers. Um they're pretty pretty cool. Very funny. He's also my uh, boyfriend. Or well, one of my boyfriends. But but don't uh, don't wish. What do you <laughs> he he he'd be the he'd be the first person to say he's my boyfriend. After I yeah. mentioned uh, I'm his boyfriend. Just like Sam and the other Sam. 
and everyone else that's Steve. Canadian, apparently. <laughs> everyone else on the Like, <laughs> Sue make the boyfriend applications. Um, everyone's welcome. There's no limit. Um, <laughs> as long as you're Canadian. Yeah, it's, it's just how it be sometimes. Oh. Sorry about that. Also, um, Martin Game would definitely say, exactly. See, I told you guys, <laughs> Nate, would, Nate would definitely say he's my boyfriend. But yeah, with that, awesome. with, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream there. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you all for hanging out. Bye. Have a good one. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Amen.